Alright, well hello and welcome, welcome and hello. Today is Thursday, you guys, which means that it is vlog day. And yeah, I've got a vlog, i got a full vlog planned out for you. I don't know if we're going to include all the segments this week, but what I'm going to do is put uh, that, I'm going to do that thing where I put all of the timestamps right here so you can see what's coming up and what's missing. We should have today on the vlog a very special guest, Mr. Twisted Messes, Kent, is headed over to my house right now. I am honestly not sure how long it's going to take him to get here. I don't know where in the vlog he's going to show up. It's just, he's the he's the wild card. He's the wild card of the vlog. But he's going to be here, and he's going to be bringing his new Twisted Messes Pro Series Atomizer, which I'm going to attempt to get him to build. I was talking to him uh, through Marco Polo, and I said, yeah, I'm going to get you to build on the vlog. He's like, bro, I don't, I don't even have any of my build stuff. I was like, oh, you don't even worry. I've got Twisted Messes wire, I have a drill, I have clamps, I have swivels, I have everything you need to build. And so hopefully I can convince him to set up on my desk and we can get Kent building again. I want him to put a build in the Twisted Messes Pro Series atomizer for me. And I want to take that atomizer, I want to take that whole setup with me to ECC. But anyway, welcome. Welcome to the vlog. Like I said, as of right now, I'm just kicking this vlog off. I'm not 100% percent What? I'm not a hundred percent sure which segments we're going to be including, but I believe we're going to have, I know there's going to be a random juice tasting in there. I know we definitely have some vape mail to open up. Of course, I'm going to set up something from the vape mail to vape in the vlog this week. We are going to do a little bit of news. I've got some news that I wanted to talk about. I'm going to try to squeak a beer tasting in there as well. The one segment I know for sure that I don't have this week is a retro vaping. I just couldn't get something prepared in time to start shooting video. I definitely would like to include my favorite comments of the week and I'm not actually sure right now whether or not we're gonna have time to do any vape mail. Viewer mails. Sorry, I should have said viewer mails right there. Because like I said, Kent's the wild card. Kent's coming down here and I have no idea when he's arriving and so he's just gonna show up in the vlog at some point point. And we're just going to have to deal with that as it happens. But anyway, before we get too far into this vlog, I want to do that thing. I want to do my new favorite thing where I hear from one of my subscribers. So right now, I'd like to hear from Mr. Furbush. Hey, Nick. Long time listener. First time caller. I'm Furbush. I know I've sent you uh, emails in the past, dropped comments here and there over time, but I'm sending you a video because today is a special day. Today is my five-year Vapeversary. What the fuck is up? Um, I am the store manager at Kinetic Vapors in Franklin, New Hampshire. And uh, finally getting paid to do what I was doing on my free time, which is watch Grim Green videos on YouTube and then talk about vaping when people come in trying to get them to quit ripping butts. So all is well up here in my neck of the woods with uh, the Double Barrel 2.1 and uh, Dead Rabbit SQ. Vaping the sandwich, a strawberry banana peanut butter fluff sandwich. Um, if you haven't tried it, get on it. It's fantastic. It's in my all time top five. Um, but shout out to you, man, because you've been a huge inspiration since day one. Uh, I appreciate you. I know a lot of other people do. And uh, five years in vaping, it's like they're like dog years. The way the technology progresses, yeah, dog years. So it's like actually 27 real years. You know where I'm at. Would you just pass nine years? That's like like 62 years in real life, but yeah, shout out to you, man, uh, Kinetic Vapors, Pinkies Up, Grim Green, yeah, let's keep on vaping. Yes, absolutely, Furbush, congratulations, five years, that's freaking awesome man it honestly does just get easier as time goes on the first year is like the first big accomplishment i remember vaping and i went my first year without uh, without smoking a cigarette and it just felt incredible and then after that it just becomes you know weeks turn into months turn into years and before you know it i'm still sitting here on youtube nine years later that's unbelievable congratulations on your five years it just the time just flies by and, awesome, and absolutely uh, thank you so much for the kind words. Thank you so much for the support. Congratulations on your job, your management position at Kinetic Vapors in... This, I don't remember. I didn't write it down. Kinetic Vapors in Franklin, New Hampshire. And that's uh, that's awesome. I, I love the idea of people getting paid to watch 
Grim Green videos. That just, oh, that just makes me so happy. It's like back when I used to work at Starbucks and you know, you take your, your morning bathroom break. I would always make sure to take that morning bathroom break after I had already clocked into work so that I could sit in the bathroom and get paid to poop and browse Reddit for about 15 minutes every day. Anyway, I think that's awesome. Thank you so much for sending in the video. Um, if anybody else has any videos similar to that, a shout out for anyone in their family or people or themselves or their shop or anything like that, feel free to just send them on over to nick at grimgreen.com. I sit and I watch every video. I've got a bunch of videos lined up, but I could always use some more. So yeah, just send them on over, nick at grimgreen.com. I'd love to hear from you guys. What we're going to do right now in the vlog is I've torn down a lot of my stuff. I'm prepping uh, for ECC. I still have to pack for ECC. I still got to pack up all of my vape gear for ECC. And so a lot of my vape gear is actually broken down, atomized are getting cleaned, tanks are getting cleaned out, but what I want to do right now is just real quickly talk about what I've been vaping, some of the setups I've got all put together right now. First things first, I'm still vaping that Elif Basal kit. I've got it loaded up with Salt Nix Sprig Mint, or Spring Mint actually. The, the, the juice is called Spring Mint. I just for some reason like to call it Sprig Mint, and that became this big inside joke on the podcast. We just call it Sprig Mint, but the name of the juice is actually Spring Mint. Spring mint from Salt Nix. This comes out of Canada. This is a 40%, no, not a 40%, a 4%, which means it's basically 40 milligram. And Salt Nix, I, I've said this a lot in videos and a lot in vlogs, for some reason Salt Nix always make me cough. They always really hit me weird in my throat and kind of make me cough. For some reason, this particular Salt Nix, even though it's a really high nicotine, in this particular Elif Basal tank, I find it to be quite enjoyable and it doesn't make me cough. I'm bringing this with me to ECC for sure. Uh, the Monday after ECC. I'm trying to get as many people as I can. We're going to go to Disneyland, and this is one of those vapes that I really like in that sort of Disneyland environment. Disneyland has a lot of uh, smoking areas there where I go and I go and vape, and I don't like to spend all my time in the smoking area, so I don't bring like a three milligram mech mod or like a Clouds Bro Clouds kind of sub ohm tank situation. I just want to get into that smoking area. I would like to get a little bit of nicotine, and then I would like to to leave as quickly as possible. So bringing a four milligram or a 40, 40, it's not 40 milligram. It's not, okay, hi. 4% salt nick juice in a small little pocketable tank mod kind of situation is exactly the perfect thing for me, for Disneyland, for theme parks, for, for any time that I'm out and I, I have a very limited amount of time to vape. I'll take something like this because I can just take a few toots and it's all good. And then I feel like I got my nicotine. <laughs> I almost, uh, yeah, <laughs> I feel like I get my nicotine and then I can just, you know, get into the smoker area and get back out and get back out and start enjoying Disneyland. You know what I mean? I don't want to spend my whole day at Disneyland sitting in a smoker area blowing dope ass clouds. Good. It's just good. It's just a good vape. Another mouth to lung thing that I have been vaping like crazy is my little Chroma A kit with that Zenith tank on there from Inokin. This is loaded up with 12 milligram donut pounder from the Namber original line. It, this was a juice that was formulated way back in 2012 and it was designed to be used with a mouth to lung type of device. When all of the Namber juice originals were formulated, were crafted, all we had was mouth to lung vaping. Clouds, clouds bro, clouds vaping, sub ohm tanks and RDAs just simply did not exist at that time. So all of our flavors are formulated, all the originals I should say, are formulated in a 50-50 PG and they go up to 18 milligram. This happens to be 12 milligram and let me tell you, it's awesome in a mouth to lung. I've been vaping Donut Pounder for years and honestly, this is, this is, this is kind of the best it's ever tasted. At least the best that I ever remember it tasting. Big fan of the Zenith tank. I'm not, uh, it's not flawless. It's not a flawless tank, but I am a huge fan of it and I get a wonderful mouth to lung vape experience from this. I like my mouth to lung vaping to be a little bit more open than a lot of other people. I think a lot of people really want super, really, really very super tight, tight, tight mouth to lung airflow. And I like my airflow and my mouth to lungs to be just a little bit more open. So I set the Zenith to two, two, two holes, sometimes three holes open on the AFC. But this is a 1.6 ohm coil head in here. I've got it set to a whopping 41 watts and it's just, it's just a great vape.
Mm-hmm. Well, shit, maybe this is something that I'll take to Disneyland instead of that Basal kit. I was dead set on bringing that Basal kit with the 4% salt nick nicotine in it, but I'm kind of enjoying this just a little bit better. The 12 milligram is nice. It gives me a nice little throat hit, but it's not overpowering like, like 18 milligram. And speaking of 18 milligram, I've got 18 milligram Atlanta Peach Leaf in my K-Fun Light Plus with a bell cap on that Segeli mod that I can never remember the name of. The, the Enya? The Enya? The Ev, 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 Yana, Ev Yana? The Enyana? Uh, mm. I believe it's called the Segeli Ivaya 66 watt single 18 650. This is uh, this is one of my favorite single 18650 mods. I just like the way it feels. I like I like holding it in my hand, and I kind of like this, you know, sort of fancy looking acrylicy, a little bit of stab wood going on here. Faceplate. I just think it looks really cool, and I really like the screen on here. And using this with something like the K phone, or even something like the Zenith, and a mouth to lung, you can set your wattage to like. 12, 13, 14 watts with a single high resistance coil in there, you're gonna get plenty of battery life and you're gonna get plenty of power as well. That is a little DHD uh, Paquito. I can't remember exactly what these are called. This is either the Paquito or the Chiquita. Not 100% sure, but I will put a link down in the description for, for everything. For everything that I talk about in this vlog, most everything that I could find a link for, I will put a link for down in the description to this video. And this is just a great, uh, really hard, throat hitty sort of mouth to lung with that 18 milligram in there. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, you can just feel it. And the flavor on the K-Fun Light Plus is good lord. It is it is great. It is still some of the best flavor I've ever had. In fact, I like this Segeli Ivania mod so much. I saw a picture recently of the gunmetal version of this, and it just it just looks so cool. And this is a mod that has been out for, for a while now. It's been out for well over a year. I got this in my old office. And it's just one of those things that has kind of just uh, stuck around because I like it so much. It's that clicky button. It's got a... It's got a, you can hear that. Oh, you can hear that just really clicky button that I like so much. Currently rocking two sub-ohm tanks, that, uh, the U-Force. That damn U-Force tank is just such a damn good vape. The coil heads in it are so wonderful. I love the way they perform. I love the flavor that I get from them. I just aesthetically can't really stand this tank. I, I don't like the way this tank looks. And I honestly, I know I said this in the review, but I don't like the way this tank feels. It feels like a really cheap sub ohm tank. But damn, those coil heads are good. It's on top of that V-God Elite 200 watt box mod. This is loaded up with that Arcadia juice. Additionally, I have my Blue Squid Industries double barrel with the blue Fire Luke mesh on top. This is loaded up with Lowrider. These are both uh, stellar, effortless, easy vapes. Occasionally, it, do it doesn't happen often, but occasionally I just get really lazy with my vaping and that's where sub-ohm tanks are always in my rotation. Because there's times where I don't want to drip, there's times when I don't even want to squonk, I just want to grab a tank and just press a button and vape and not have to worry about like dripping or squonking or things and I just, I can just vape it and, and, and it's great. Love that Fire Luke mesh though. Love that Fire Luke mesh tank. It is such a banging smooth, just warm, saturated, just very saturated vape. It's it's one of the most like densely saturated vapes I think I've had. And the U-Force with Arcadia is just awesome. And this tank is running uh, very, very low. Anyway, um, I do also have a squonker going. I'm still rocking that uh, Wismec, Jabo, Luxotic, BF box. I think it's just fantastic. It's up on there with the Flav 22 atomizer. This is filled up with Smacks. Lick it, which is, again, one of those juices I just can't seem to get enough of. I think it's fantastic. If Smacks is at ECC, I'm going to be picking up a fuck ton of Lick it, and I'm going to be picking up a fuck ton of Pony on Acid. 
Awesome. I love that vape. I love this vape. And I guess it's time to start the hype train on this little thing. I have the, uh, I have a topper on here that I can't show you, but it's on top of that Asmodus Luna Squonker. And let's see how sneaky I can be. There is a purple DHD nub tip on top, a color changing nub tip. And I didn't know that this was a color changing nub tip. I just thought, wow, that's a really cool purple, uh, you know, nub tip that's going to match this Asmodus Luna perfectly. And then I was vaping it and vaping it and vaping it. And that some sort of sorcery happened and it turned this, this beautiful like aqua color with the heat. It's just very cool. Color changing nub tips are kind of my favorite thing now. Evidently I have a few and I, I didn't know I had any. I can't show you what's on top, but it is loaded up with Yig and it's uh, it's a delightful little vape. So we'll just let the speculation begin on what I have on top of this, but all will be revealed very soon. And thanks to a lot of people, I have to thank, uh, uh, I think his name was Steven, the guy in Colorado at the Vaporgate event. No, it wasn't Vaporgate. Where was that? It was in Idaho. Oh, good Lord, I am a terrible person. I think his name was Steven, and I think it was in Idaho? or Utah? No, it, it had to have been in Colorado. Is it in Colorado? No, I think it was in Utah. I'm gonna go with Utah. I think it was in Utah, and he's probably watching this, and he's probably cursing at his screen right now, but I was gifted a green, a beautiful green billet box, a gently used beautiful green billet box. And I have to give a huge shout out to 44 Inc. who sent me the Steam Turners Insider that I'm using in here. And I also have to give a huge shout out to Kyle from Noli Designs who sent me this wonderful drip tip. He sent me multiple wonderful drip tips, but this one is made for the billet box. It's got little notches that make it fit in there so perfectly. The green on the top matches the green of the mod. And he also sent me these beautiful honeycomb panels, black panels for the side of my billet box. This is also loaded up with Smacks Lickit. And this is the third time I've tried wicking the insider from Steam Turners on the inside of this billet box. And I can just not get it 100% right. The first time I did it, I put way too much cotton in there and was constantly getting dry hits. The second time I did it, I put not nearly enough cotton in there and it got real floody and gurgly on me. And the third time I did it, I thought it was perfect. I thought it was just right, but I still am getting the occasional weird dry hit. I feel like I just haven't dialed in the wicking for this little thing and it, it's a tiny, tiny, tiny little RBA deck base in there. It's a little two post guy and you just put one little coil and it's a tiny little thing to work with and getting the wicking like perfectly correct on it is a little bit of a difficult task and I still don't think I've nailed it. But on the inside I have a 24 gauge Nichrome Anarchist build that came out to 0.68. I've got this at 24 watts because this is a DNA 40, single 18650 DNA 40 on the inside and when the coils and when the wicks are wet, it's actually a very, very nice vape, but I can't chain vape it. I can't take more than two or three toots in a row because it runs dry on me. My, my wicking just isn't quite there yet. Yeah, that, that one was really good. And lastly, 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 my ride or die, my favorite thing ever, that Dreamer Copper Mech Mod, which I've cleaned and is already back to being tarnished again. Got that topped with the Golden Recoil Rebel. This is a uh, one of the iJoy 2700 batteries on the inside. And right now I'm vaping uh, Vigil Anti Vapor or Vigil Anti Juice Co. I always call them Vigil Anti Vapors in the past. And Russ always corrects me. He says, Nick, it's, it's not Vigilante Vapors, it's Vigilante Juice Co. And so every time I go, okay, yeah, yeah, that's right, Vigilante Juice Co. And then I get on my vlog here and I go, Vigilante Vapors? But it is actually Vigilante Juice Co. This is Rogue, let's see what the description says. Vanilla bean, custard, coconut, and caramel. And it is quite, quite the delicious vape. Also got it topped with a white DHD macaron drip tip on there. Oh, that macaron is holding on there so well and I went to pull it off, it pulled off my whole top cap. Anyway, love this vape. This is my ride or die. This is something that I will never get rid of. This will always just get re-wicked and put new juices in it because I, I love this vape. If I could grab one vape from my desk to take with me and only vape all day, uh, chances are I would probably grab this little setup right here.
Wonderful, wonderful vape. Anyway, that is what I have been vaping. So I guess what we're going to do right now is I'm going to pop back down to the desk or pop down to the desk for the first time. And uh, we're going to go over some uh, news and advocacy. News and advocacy, yeah. Okay, so we're going to start off this news and advocacy segment with some feedback from you guys. If you remember last week, we were talking about the new scientific study that was done that made the correlation between uh, nicotine ingestion and DNA samp damage in cells. And I believe that this study is referring to that to that 5%, that 5% risk. Although in this study, they say it's 3%. The Royal College of Physicians says that it's 5%. And I pose the question, if vaping, I mean, if this comes out and this turns out to be true, that there's a 5% unequivocal 5% risk from using vapor products as opposed to traditional tobacco products, what would you do? Would you continue to vape? How would you you adapt your vaping, what would you do? That was the question, and so here's some of your answers. First one we have here is from Robert. Robert writes in and says, Nick, I couldn't agree with you more. I'll take that 5% risk. I'm well aware that vaping isn't 100% safe, but it beats the alternative, certainly better than alcohol or heroin. Hashtag popcorn lung forms on your bum. Gamer Kaya says, I don't care about the 5%. There's risk in everything. Same with drinking and pot and other drugs. You're more likely to die, I feel, from the air air we breathe in certain parts of the world. Miranda says, Nick, the 5% risk is totally worth it to me to quit the cigs. I smoked for 16 years, a pack a day. I started smoking when I was 15. My one year vape anniversary is coming up February 20th. I honestly wish I would have made the switch sooner. Beth says, one, if nicotine causes DNA damage, which could cause cancer, then patches, gum, and lozenges can too. Two, I agree that any tax on vapor products should be a reasonable amount. In CT, the governor wants a 70 75% tax. Anonymous Cyclist says, I will happily take a 5% risk of nicotine causing harm compared to smoking tobacco and not having tar, exotic hydrocarbons, smoke, and all the other toxins. There are worse things in the air, water, cosmetics, and cleaning products, etc. Martin left a comment and said, yes, 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 I'd vape. 5% risk is nothing. You're more at risk of getting harmful things from thousands of foods and drinks, soap, paints, mobile phones, car emissions, etc. Anthony left a comment and said, fascinating overview of the study conducted by the relevant U.S. science lab, and thanks for your time to try to understand it. But I'm wondering whether going from low wattage, what we were vaping in 2009 to 2010, to the kinds of high wattage we are vaping now, multiplies the risk of TSNAs. Uh, Anthony, I think that's a fantastic question, and that's one of the things I'm honestly really excited about, to see where this science goes. The vapor industry and the technology have moved so quickly. I mean, breakneck speeds. Our technology just evolved so quickly. And now there's so many different ways to vape out there. There's, you know, mouth to lungs, there's RTAs, there's certain different wattages and voltages and resistances and different liquids and how liquids are manufactured and what goes into the liquids. And there's just, there's so many different ways to vape. I feel like it's going to take quite a long time to evaluate every possible way that we vape and every possible way that that affects how our body, you know, uses these TSNAs or how the DNA is breaking down over the long term or it's not repairing itself. These are all questions for, for future scientists and absolutely Absolutely, Anthony, I, I, I completely agree with you. I would like to know that as well. And lastly, I got a great comment here from Captain Beardless who said, effectively, nicotine from any source leads to this downstream DNA damage. What this study reports is that nicotine and this DNA damage are inseparable. When nicotine is in your body, most of it is broken down into a safe compound. Some of it, less than 10% of it, is broken down into nitrosamines. It is these nitrosamines that directly cause the DNA damage. It is difficult to quantify the real consequences of this, but if nothing else, understanding that nicotine from any source will necessarily get broken down in the body into DNA damaging compounds. Consuming nicotine is not good for you, but you have to decide how much risk you are willing to bear. Um, definitely, absolutely.
absolutely Captain Beardless, which by the way, that that's a great user handle on YouTube, Captain Beardless. I actually think it would be pretty funny if Captain Beard Beardless, Captain Beardless actually had like a big a big mighty like Viking beard. And he just calls himself Captain Beardless ironically. Anyway, absolutely Captain Beardless. I totally agree with you. It is up to the user. We have a long way to go on any of these studies regarding nicotine and DNA damage, but like I said earlier, I'm actually really excited to get down into this science to get down into the nuts and bolts of how vaping works. I use vaping as a form of harm reduction, and if that 5% risk still exists, yes, of course, I would definitely, absolutely vape. And one of the things that this study has not even done yet is compared the level of DNA damage to that of tobacco cigarette smoking. Holy Fuck, that was the loudest text message on earth. Yeah, thank you, DHL. Anyway, yes, like Captain Beardless says, it is up to the user, it's up to the person to decide how much risk they are willing to have in their life. So yeah, good stuff, good good thoughts going, good conversations going. I think this is a, a really good thing, a really good scientific thing to, to have as a topic of discussion. And, and I'm glad it's getting discussed in a very reasonable way. And I'm glad people are understanding of this science and how honestly important this science is to the future of vaping and the vape industry. So yeah, we're gonna leave that right there. I do have some other news here, hang on, let me get to it. Uh, I got an article from Todd. I got a great article from Todd up in Canada. Not Todd in, in Scotland or in the UK. Or where is Todd? I think Todd's in Scotland. I think he's a Scottish fellow. Not that Todd. A different Todd in Canada. He sent me this great article from business.financialpost.com. It says, medical experts offered to debate Canada's anti-vaping groups, but they all refuse. The article starts off and it says, last week was National Non-Smoking Week, so why aren't health groups doing all they could to help smoke quit. They wouldn't even show up to debate the best ways to get people to stop smoking. So evidently what happened in Ottawa is there was a discussion, a scheduled panel discussion that was scheduled to happen. And we had all of these experts from not just the medical field, but from the vapor industry, manufacturers and, and retailers as well. There was Dr. Gaston, I'm, I'm not going to be able to pronounce this guy's name, Dr. Gaston Oistegai. Oistegai. He's the former director of the Smoking Society clinic at the Montreal Chest Institute, and David Sweener, chair of the advisory board for the Center of Health Law, Policy, and Ethics at the University of Ottawa. These people were on the side that was making an argument for vaping. This whole panel was supposed to be called, If Quitting Isn't an Option, Is Vaping? And it was supposed to be designed to talk to those people who just could not quit. They have tried everything, cold turkey and patches and gums and everything, and they just simply could not quit or simply refused to quit. They're posing the question that if you if you simply refuse to quit smoking, is vaping an option for you? And so they had this panel scheduled with all of these medical experts and all of these people in the industry, and they were uh, supposed to debate the, the governmental anti-vaping uh, regulators. And unfortunately, the anti-vaping regulators simply just didn't show up to the panel. Evidently, multiple people were invited to be on this panel, including the Heart and Stroke Foundation and the Canadian Cancer Society. They just did not respond to the invites. They said, we don't even wanna be a part of that panel. And I'm just gonna read the very tail end of this article because it's pretty spectacular. It says, uh, David Sweener summed it up best by suggesting that this is ultimately a debate between pragmatists and moralists. The pragmatists recognize that an abstinence-only approach to smoking is ineffective effective, and therefore a harm reduction approach is needed, in which safer alternatives are provided to those who cannot or will not stop smoking. The moralists, on the other hand, see anything resembling cigarettes or anything inhaled as a sin. Sweener compared it to trying to stage a debate between an evolutionary biologist and a creationist, suggesting the latter simply wouldn't show up since it's impossible to even debate such an entrenched position. Sadly, that kind of dogmatic thinking seems to pervade any health organization organizations that campaign against e-cigarettes. Skipping a debate is one thing, but using their privileged access to government policymakers or argue against vaping is extremely unsettling. These groups claim to advocate for public health when the evidence overwhelmingly shows that e-cigarettes are a safer alternative. These groups should use their lobbying clout to help get smokers to switch and not put obstacles in the way. Great, great, smart, brilliant. 
really great. I think it's uh, I think it's I think it's quite entertaining that all of these people, all these pro vaping advocates, said, "Hey, c- come debate us. We'll set up a panel. All of the anti vaping people, all of the officials in the government, all of the health committee officials, all of you are welcome to come debate us." And nobody showed up to debate the pro vaping group. Unbelievable. I think that's unbelievable and also very highly entertaining. So what I'm gonna do uh, is post a link down in the description to where you can read this all for yourself. Todd, thank you so much for sending me this article. I'm gonna post a link down in the description where you can read it, uh, share it, share it around, especially if you're in Canada or you're a Canadian vapor, this this definitely pertains to you and I'll have, a, I'll have a link down in the description. So thank you again, Todd, for sending that over. The last thing that I wanted to talk about that I still need to track down is an update. Oh, I closed my Gmail. Well, that was real smart, Nick. I got an email from Ryan from Lost Art Liquids. Uh, he wrote me an email and said, what up, what up Grim? Ryan from Lost Art here. I just wanted to share these two posts with you about our lawsuit. It's still active and hoping that the judge rules in our favor. And what he linked me to, which is what I will be linking to down in the description, are their Instagram posts. And as much as I love Instagram, it is not the ideal place platform for sharing uh, news. You can really only post pictures, so they posted pictures from their lawsuit, from the official documents of the lawsuit, but what I'm gonna read here is the description under those pictures. Uh, Federal Magistrate Judge Mum hears oral arguments for the first time in our case against the FDA tomorrow, 1-23-2018. So January 23rd, this happened January 23rd, 2018 at 10 a.m. We're asking for the court to force the FDA to give us all the documents that it used to create the deeming rule without subjecting them to a protection order so that we can share whatever we receive with all of you. They're basically trying to get, this is one part of it, I'm assuming, they're trying to get all of the documents and data used to create the FDA deeming rule. And for anybody curious, the FDA deeming rule is the current FDA vaping regulations, which would effectively, I mean, decimate the industry. It would it would destroy vaping in the United States. I don't think even now with as big a companies as we have I don't think even now there's any companies outside of big tobacco outside of big tobacco pardon me outside of big tobacco that could possibly afford to comply with these deeming regulations they say it's difficult it's a they say it's a difficult argument to win, but we believe it is an important one to fight the FDA. The second update they made on Instagram says, uh, update today, the FDA concluded its efforts to obtain a court order that, if granted, would keep us at Lost Art Liquids from being able to share information with all of you. A major part of what we are fighting for in our lawsuit is transparency from the FDA. The FDA should share all the information that it has, which they use to justify its decision to deem vapor products as tobacco tobacco products. Congress bestowed upon the FDA the duty to, sorry, I had to scroll down. Congress bestowed upon the FDA the duty to protect the public health. The FDA has done a terrible job in carrying out this duty by intentionally leading the public to believe that vapor products pose similar harm as cigarettes and tobacco. Scientists and public health officials here in the U.S. are following what we have seen in the U.K. and are now coming forward to let the FDA know that vaping is in fact different and safer than smoking. And I just, I kind of got to admire the balls on Lost Art Liquids right now, just completely ignoring the gag order that the FDA has. There's a gag order in place right now for every vape manufacturer, retailer, wholesaler, anything in the United States. You cannot, not, not. It is illegal, completely illegal to make a sort of modified risk health claims. So I think that's I think that's very ballsy on Lost Art Liquid's side. It goes on to say, we hope that the judge will rule favorably on our motion we argued in court today and that we were able to share more information with you and the general public. Our hope is that you will be empowered to go to your congressman and ask them to support new laws that regulate vapor products as technology, not tobacco products. We will keep you posted on the judge's decision. Until then, 
fight on. Hashtag technology, not tobacco. I think that's fantastic. Uh, uh, huge shout out to Lost Art Liquids. Uh, I know I'm not a huge, huge fan of your branding, but I don't even give a shit about that anymore. I like what you're doing with the FDA and the Lost Art Liquids lawsuit. This lawsuit from Lost Art Liquids, when the FDA deeming rule was announced two years ago, they were one of, if not the first lawsuit against the FDA, and that was two years ago. And it's just now in January 2018, finally getting heard. Uh, he finishes off his email and he says, uh, we just did a collaboration uh, with the Goon 1.5 and 528 Custom Vapes. We sent a Goon to their list of reviewers and photographers. I asked for the list and also send everyone some liquid and some swag. So my apologies for sending an unwanted package. He says, uh, he basically apologizes for sending me the liquid. Ryan, it's cool. It brought up a great discussion amongst me and amongst uh, my subscribers regarding the labeling or the branding, and uh, it kind of actually changed my point of view a little bit. So I'm actually really thankful, not just for the Lost Art, the random Lost Art Liquids package, but I'm also very thankful for my subscribers for able to be for being able to have like a discussion where nobody calls each other names. I feel like we kind of need to move uh, past that a little bit and have a discussion with people and, and know that we might have differing views, but that, that's no reason to, to get heated and to get angry and to, and to resort to calling each other names. It says, if you ever need anything like a favor, let me know and I'll send more, whatever you need it. Appreciate what you are doing for the industry. Actually, yeah, Ryan, I'd love to get some uh, some juice to, to my patrons. This is something we're going to talk about soon, Ryan. So I'll be hitting you up. So yeah, that's uh, that's kind of what I got for news right now. Don't forget there are still things going on all over the United States. There's a big tax thing happening in Washington State right now. There's a big tax ha thing happening in Connecticut right now. So what I would encourage everybody watching this video to do is go down in the description under the news and advocacy section. There is a link to casa.org click that link, get signed up, follow the calls to action, and stay aware of what's happening with vaping in the United States. And that's going to wrap up the news and advocacy section. And what I would normally do right now is vape mail, but I really want Kent to be here for the vape mail opening. I think it's going to make it much more entertaining than just sitting me sitting here watching me open a bunch of vape mail like we do every single week. I want to have Kent here. I want to have my special guest here, but uh, he's not here. He's not here yet. So what I'm going to do is we're going to change this whole schedule all up. The Star Wars solo trailer was released the day after the Super Bowl, and I just have to talk about it. So let's do a real quick getting to know Grim Green. We're going to talk about that solo trailer. All right, well, it's time to get real nerdy, friends. I, uh, If you're new here or if you're a recent subscriber and you're new to the vlogs here, I'm a, I'm a huge Star Wars fan. I'm just an unbelievable Star Wars fan. I've got all sorts of Star Wars Imperial propaganda behind me and Stormtrooper helmets and Kylo Ren and Captain Phasma. Actually, that's Batman right there. But I am a huge Star Wars fan. I'm young enough to have seen Return of the Jedi in the theater. I grew up with the original Holy Trilogy, and I just got to talk about the Star Wars Solo trailer that just came out. I watched it live. I watched it very randomly. I had a bunch of people were over. We were watching the sports ball game, the Super Bowl, which I'm not a huge sports ball fan. I don't I don't really follow football, but I do like watching the Super Bowl. I find it I find it I find it really interesting. I like watching the Super Bowl. And I thought, uh, you know, coming from a non-sports fan, I thought this year's Super Bowl w was pretty freaking awesome. I just kind of really didn't want the Patriots to win. And I'm sorry to everybody watching this video. If you're a Patriots fan, I'm sorry. You guys had a great run, but uh, in this house, we do have to root against the Patriots. So I was voting, I was rooting for the Eagles, and uh, I was glad to see them win. I, I was just a really exciting, uh, exciting football game, and I'm not even a sports fan, and I found that to be a very exciting football game. But more importantly, is we were just sitting there, and it was commercial breaks, and we're just sitting and eating carrots with a dip and, and talking and having a great time, and I look over and I see the Lucasfilm on the screen, and I'm like, and I I watched the little teaser that they showed at the Super Bowl and I went, all right, that was the teaser. Okay, 
we finally got a teaser. And so I left and I came downstairs and I watched the teaser at least 800 times. And then the very next day, the full trailer came out. In fact, I'm just gonna watch little bits of the full trailer here, but it starts out and I believe it's showing what's the inside of the Millennium Falcon. And one of my favorite things about this trailer is it shows the Millennium Falcon as it once was. The Millennium Falcon that we're used to in the original Holy Trilogy and beyond is, is the junk. Ray calls it junk. Ray calls it garbage. It's an old ship. It's run down. It's constantly breaking. Han and Chewie are constantly fixing things. Ray had to fix things. It's, it's an old ship, but it gets the job done and it just looks so fucking cool. The Millennium Falcon next to like, uh, you know, a galaxy class starship from Star Trek. The Millennium Falcon is my favorite sci-fi spaceship. It just looks so fucking cool. It's such a cool ship. And we get to see the Millennium Falcon in its prime. There's a shot where it's where you're panning kind of down the hallway and you see all the walls and they're just white, brand new Millennium Falcon walls. I really, really enjoy the overall tone of this trailer. I'm glad that they made the solo movie feel like a Star Wars movie. It feels like it could have been right around Rogue One you know, maybe a little bit before Rogue One. It's got that sort of uh, throwback 70s sci-fi feel to it. And that just, that makes me so happy. I'm glad, I'm really glad that the creative people and the directors now doing these old Star Wars movie have kind of nailed down that tone. So at the very least, it's going to feel like a Star Wars movie. We've got these great shots of Han Solo just tearing around in some sort of speeder and he's he's breaking things and things are blowing up and he's giving a little monologue about how, how reckless he is and how he wants to be a pilot. He wants to be the best pilot in the galaxy. And then we got these great scenes of a uh, childish Gambino, Donald Glover, who is, he's amazing. He is, he's just an amazing person. I became a fan of him because of community and because of his stand-up and, and seeing all the things that he's done now with Childish Gambino, with Atlanta, and now as Lando Calrissian in the Solo movie, I think this is the most unbelievably perfect casting I have ever seen. And I honestly feel a little bit bad for Alden Einreich, the guy playing Han Solo, not because I don't think he's going to do a good job. I just think that Daniel Glover or Danny Glover. No, wait, no, not Danny Glover. What am I saying? Danny Glover. He was in Lethal Weapon. Donald Glover. I think Donald Glover is really going to steal this show. I think he's going to be an amazing Lando Calrissian. Not, he doesn't, doesn't just look like Lando Calrissian. Even from this short little trailer, he does Lando Calrissian-y things. There's that little scene where he's uh, he's in the Millennium Falcon cockpit and he kind of does the, the two-finger thing to the robot. That's the same little motion he made in, in Empire Strikes Back to, uh, to, to Han Solo. Or was it Empire Strikes Back? It might have been Return of the Jedi. Uh, it was Return of the Jedi. In Return of the Jedi, when Han is leaving to get on the Imperial ship to go down to the forest moon of Endor, and he and Lando Calrissian's going back to the Millennium Falcon, he does that little two finger like, all right, dude. And he does it in this trailer, and I think that's cool. I think that it's cool that they throw that in there. Of course, you see the dice again. You see the dice. They're not in the Millennium Falcon. They're in the other speeder that he's racing around in. Overall, I am uh, I'm really excited about this movie. My hopes were very, very low for the Star Wars solo movie. I actually think it was a bad decision for Disney to even do this. As much as I want to hear this story, as much as I want to hear about the Spice Mines of Kessel and the Kessel Run and the Carillion ships and Han Solo's backstory and how he how he won the Millennium Falcon from Lando Calrissian and how he meets Chewbacca and why Chewbacca has a life debt to him. There's so much of this backstory that I really want to know about. I just really hope they do it well. I was talking to my buddy uh, Sean. Sean Trooper, uh, one of my really good buddies. We're, we're Star Wars nerds. 90% of what we talk about is Star Wars. And he said it really well. He said, this 
movie would have to be like Star Wars prequels bad for me to like scoff at it. And I kind of completely agree with them. I don't think this movie is going to be Star Wars prequels bad. I think it's going to be better than the prequels, which in my opinion already gives it a fighting chance for me really enjoying it. It's, it's really hard for me to say anything right now about Alden Einreich and how he's going to play Han Solo because you don't get to see a lot of that in the trailer. He's a, he's a handsome, dashing looking rogue fellow. He doesn't necessarily sound like Harrison Ford because we're so used to Harrison Ford's voice. We're so used to hearing Han Solo be Harrison Ford and Alden Einreich doesn't sound like Harrison Ford. And even though he doesn't really sound like Harrison Ford, he doesn't really look like Harrison Ford, that doesn't bother me so much as long as he acts like Han Solo, as long as he plays the character of Han Solo. And the only thing I can compare this to is, do you remember the two Steve Jobs? I've just been holding this the whole time because I've been vaping it. But you remember the two Steve Jobs movies that came out? One of them was with Ashton Kutcher, and the other one was with Michael Fassbender, and I really liked the one that Michael Fassbender was in even much, much more than the one with Ashton Kutcher, even though Ashton Kutcher looked like a young Steve Jobs. He didn't act like Steve Jobs, and I thought Michael Fassbender, even though he didn't sound or really look like Steve Jobs, I think he played the character much more believable to me. So I feel like even if Alden Einreich doesn't necessarily look exactly like Harrison Ford, like a young Han Solo. And even if he doesn't sound exactly like a young Harrison Ford Han Solo, I think he has the ability, possibly, I know there was rumors of acting coaches and reshoots and whatnot, but I'm still holding out hope. Rebellions are built on hope. He does still have the ability to play the character of Han Solo. And if he can do that convincingly, uh, you, will, you will completely look past the fact that he doesn't necessarily look exactly like Han Solo, and he doesn't necessarily sound exactly like Han Solo. Needless to say, I really like the trailer. Uh, I think we're going to do a full trailer breakdown in an upcoming Culture of Clouds podcast because I have a lot of thoughts about Star Wars. But I'm going to wrap this up here. Uh, any of my Star Wars fan subscribers, what did you think of the trailer? Let me know down in the comments below. And I'd also not only like to know what you think of the trailer, but what sort of level of Star Wars fan are you? I feel like there's a lot of uh, passive Star Wars fans that saw the trailer and went, yeah, that looks really cool. And I feel like there's a lot more of hardcore Star Wars fans that looked at the trailer and went, but me being a very diehard, hardcore Star Wars fan, I saw this trailer and it gave me hope. I'm excited to see this movie. I think it's going to be a really cool addition to the Star Wars universe that is just the ever-expanding Star Wars universe. And I'm really hoping, I got my fingers crossed, that Alden Einreich can pull it off. And even if he can't, here's the thing. I feel bad for Alden Einreich because, like I said, I think Donald Glover is such a good casting choice for Lando Calrissian. I think that Donald Glover might outshine Han Solo. I think this is going to be like a Batman 1989 with Michael Keaton and Jack Nicholson and how Batman was just, it was very cool and Michael Keaton did an amazing job with Batman, but I didn't leave that movie thinking about Batman. I left that movie thinking about how amazing Jack Nicholson was as the Joker. And I have a feeling that I'm gonna walk away from this movie going, Fuck, that was a great Star Wars movie, and Lando Calrissian was awesome. But anyway, enough geeky, nerdy rambling from me. I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, that was getting to know Grim Green. I'm just a big old Star Wars fan, and I will take any opportunity that I can to uh, uh, to uh, to burp. Ah, uh, that... Sorry, that kind of just, that just came out of nowhere. I apologize for that. But I will take any opportunity I can to discuss and talk about Star Wars. It's just one of my most favorite things ever. Anyway, if I have any Star Wars fans, subscribers, what did you think of the Solo trailer? Because I thought, uh, as we just discussed, without the risk, running the risk of repeating myself, I thought it was very cool. It makes me very excited about this movie. So, that was getting to know Grim Green, and generally getting to know Grim Green is a question from a subscriber. If you have any getting to know Grim Green questions that you would like to see discussed in length on this here vlog program, you can send them on over to me. Nick at GrimGreen.com. Just mark your subject um, getting to know Grim Green. You can ask me any questions you like. Hopefully not too intrusive, although I'm okay with just a little bit of intrusiveness now. And what we're going to do right now, and Kent is still not here. Okay, what I think I'm going to do right now is I'm going to pause production on the vlog uh, real quickly. 
because I want Kent here to be here for the rest of it. I want him to open some vape mail with me. I want him to help me set something up. I want him to help me go through this very random juice tasting. And I'd like him to be here when we read some favorite comments of the week. And maybe if we have time, I'd like to get to some viewer mails as well. So that's it. I guess I'm just going to, I'm just going to pause and I'm just going to wait. Uh, I'm just going to wait for Kent, Mr. Twisted Messes to get here. So hopefully the next thing you see will be vape mail with Kent. Talk. Hi, this is Kent. I'm here to talk to you today about many things about Nick. He's lost a lot of weight. He's looking good. Let me tell you that <laughs> first. It. Okay, we're good. How about... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Laugh really loud and awkwardly. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm back here. I'm in the shot. It's all good. We got a weird crooked shot for vape mail. And uh, the audio might be not amazing on this, but we're, we're going to do our best. We're going to do our best to get through this vape mail segment. We're going to do some vape mail stuff now, and uh, Kent's here. He's finally here. Uh, I've got my camera awkwardly set up, so I have to hunch over, but we've got plenty of room. Here, I'm going to move this. Welcome. Oh. This is where you sit down in the, in the, in the vlog video. Uh, yeah. Uh, you guys know Kent. Me? Kent, Twisted Messes, oh TwistedMesses.com. He looks great. <gasps> Tell him that he looks great, everybody. One in the comments if I look great, two for no. <laughs> <laughs> all right um well the way this worked before is i had Dwayne open all my vape mail but we don't have to do that yeah and i don't have as nimble of hands as Dwayne. you well you're a you build just you're a kidding builder. i think Magic you, feel hands. Like you might have more nimble hands than Dwayne. yeah probably but if Dwayne was here I'd, i wouldn't be saying that well we wouldn't be saying <laughs> anything bad about him he would just be taking his abuse but <laughs> but i'll i have a theory here you know Similar to that milk and hot sauce, but because Dwayne rides motocross, and so his hands are strongest in this position. So he's got like, if you think about his mobility, it's like a claw, you yeah, know, like he, a T-Rex. His grip strength. Well, only to that point. Beyond that point, his grip strength disappears. Oh, but the last two, the last inch, the last few centimeters? That real crushing strength, if you want to crush a potato. Oh. Right, good luck, Dwayne. All right, well... On that note, <laughs> we're going to open some vape mail. I got a bunch of stuff here from China, and I actually have a box here as well from Eric, Vinyl and Vapor. He sent us some juice. He sent you some juice as well, I believe. Okay. There's some juice for you. Let's try it. Um, that's one of the juices that we're going to be tasting for the very random juice tasting a little bit later on in the vlog. But right now, we're just going to plow through some vape mail. Here, you want to hold the knife? Ooh, yeah, okay. I got that knife on the vape tour. Yeah, knives make me nervous. Why? Well, when other people use them. Oh. I'm just always afraid someone's going to cut themselves. Are you really? Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, the potential is there. Well, the potential's... Thanks. Yeah. Thanks for holding the knife here. You can hold the garbage bag. All right. Just be uh, the first that package that we're opening, um, this is an RDA. This is from Advanced Vape Supply. Are All you right. familiar with Advanced Vape Supply? Never heard of it. Okay. Well, this is their RDA. It's called the Boaz. Boaz. Do you want to open that? Take the, a look at it. Located. Um, Advanced Vape Supply is in Denver, okay. Denver, Colorado. Yeah, yeah, just open it. Take a look at it. What do you think? AFC, oh. big two posts deck. Yeah, yeah it's, it's like a velocity. velocity style. Yeah, it's a velocity style deck. AFC. Yeah. DHL you see packaging. See that Chinese DHL packaging so right there? Up. You already took the express envelope off there. Yeah. Think, <laughs> got Twisted Messes doing the play by play. Yeah. Just want to walk you guys see through what's this. in there. Am I in frame, bro? Yeah, you can see right there. Well, no, the lens is blocking me, so I keep on wanting to do this, but that's too okay. far. Well, you might be uh, dropping your mod. You might be slightly out of focus, but what? We can't have that. All okay. Right. Well, scoot, then you need to scoot back this way a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is addictive. This com product contains nicotine, which it doesn't. It doesn't. What is it? It's a mesh coil. It's a mesh coil, so that so, means there's a coil, there's a tank in there. So there's probably a mesh coil tank, I'm assuming. There's two from Vapiston. Oh, Vapiston. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is the Vapiston Avatar, Avatar Nano, Nano mesh, mesh tank. tank. Have you tried this already? I haven't tried this particular one. Have you tried what other is? stuff from Vape Vapiston? Yeah, Vapiston. I've been reviewing Vapiston stuff for a while. For a long time, they had the Magnus. You remember the Magnus sub ohm tank? Oh, oh yeah, I do actually. The, the Vapes. Yeah, that Magnus. was like one of the first nicer sub ohm tanks. Yeah, Vapeston usually does pretty good stuff. Um, I have you ever vaped a mesh coil head in a in a sub ohm tank before? Never. Oh, I've never tried a mesh coil except for one I made like years ago, just experimenting. It's, uh, 
It's a good, it's a good coil head. Mesh in a coil head is really rad. Well, you've piqued my interest. Okay, so this is a maybe, maybe we'll set it up. Vapeston. Maybe possibly, we'll set up this yeah. Vapeston. So there's one okay. for each of us, so. Yes. Well, <laughs> yes. If you want a Vapes, if you want a, a, a Avatar Nano mesh tank, a red one. Can, I'm, I'm undecided. A red one. Here you go, here's the next box. Okay, great. Let's see what's in there. Wait, what, did you look at the top? It says moved plus. What? Yeah, moved. I don't know. Maybe moved. that means they put my new address on it. Mm. What is it? I don't know. What is it? I don't know what it says. What is it? This is uh, the wall crawler kit from Frogman. Vaptio. Vaptio. Oh, Vaptio. Yeah, Vaptio. Have you ever tried the Vaptio stuff? I have, yeah. Their box mother pretty nice, dude, I, in my opinion. From what I saw at the convention, I've never taken one home and used it. But uh -huh. I met the people. And is there two? They were nice to me. They're speaking Chinese and stuff. Is there a color designation? It's oh, let's see. This one's black and red. So is this that one. That one's black and red. All right. Let's open one. Let's look at All it. All right. It looks like the little eye stick e It's kind of heavy. Stuff. Yeah. Is it metal or something, probably? It's probably, uh, it's probably heavy. Smooth Tech Flavor Optimization. I don't know if I find that it super appealing. It looks like appealing. the Smont, though. It does look like the Smont, and it's called the Frogman, but it looks like Spider-Man. Yeah. I mean, it's got a spider logo on the back. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a Spider-Man spider logo on the back, and then the texture of it even looks like webs. But it's called the Frogman, and I bet you they changed that at the last minute because it was once called the Spider-Man. Because that's right. the only thing that makes sense to me. Well, it is actually called Wall Crawler, which probably is still, you know, some sort of... Oh, the tank is called the Frogman. Oh. The mod is called the Wall Crawler. Ah, so anything that eats... Flies or other flying type insects. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. And there's a sub ohm tank included, a bit a honking sub ohm tank. That's big. That's kind of a big honking sub ohm tank. Oh yeah, it's almost. A, that's what was so heavy in here. That's it was weird. The it tank. Was the tank itself. Yeah. The tank itself is really heavy. Eh, it's kind of a tight fit. Yeah. How many batteries are in here? I think it's just a single. There's that I think thing it's unscrews. a single right here. Yeah. This is uh, a. They're I've taking a page interest. out of iJoy's book. Single 18650. Unfortunately, I don't think this is going to something that I'm going to want to set up today. Me neither. It's not, that's not peaking my interest, VapTO. But it is the wall crawler kit from VapTO. I better keep this instruction manual because it's so thick. I have a feeling this might have a complicated interface system with it. All right. What's next on the plate here? What, what's next up here? Yeah, I'm hungry. That's why I keep on mentioning things that like food. <laughs> they come was, on plates. I was even talking about eating flies earlier. <laughs> Kent's hungry. you got to understand that Kent drove here and then showed up like five minutes ago and then we just instantly jumped into shooting yeah, video that's exactly what happened so we don't have time for for lunch just yet i have add next okay, here go just open it <laughs> <laughs> there's no way I, you were gonna do that oh wow you did yeah good no, on you we need the knife in here though yeah here yeah cut towards your buddy not towards your body is that how it goes? <laughs> That's what Dwayne taught me. <laughs> I told your buddy, not your body. Oh, fucking Dwayne. Monetization, my apologies. No, it's okay. You yeah, can, we don't care about that curse. anymore, right? You know, you can curse anyway. Okay. You can say fuck. You can say I don't think, fuck you want. I don't think people say call it cursing anymore. Well, what's that? It's a Vupu Mojo. Vupu Mojo. They only sent one. Oh, this mic's right in the shot. Is that cool? Yeah, it's fine. All right. That's, that's the only way it's going to pick us up. Oh, okay. Okay. Why do your glasses look all green? Is that just this? That's the focus screen? lines. Let's see how your shirt looks green on the Ooh. logo. Oh. And your hair looks mm. green a little bit. Why don't they focus on your face? It just, it's not picking up any, it, it's there. It's just not, you can't see it from that far away. All right. Anyway, Moving that's on. boring, Kent. <laughs> that's boring stuff for the vlog. This is the Vupu Mojo. They actually, oh, hang on. There's somebody at the door. There's probably another package. Here you go. I'll let you Should I just keep it. going? All right. Here you go. Okay. We got the Vupu Mojo unboxing right now. Very colorful box. Pushes out here. Nice gift box. Home insert pops out with the mod there. Underneath, got the tank itself. Got that blue and stainless and black. Kind of reminds me of the, the Jabo theorem. Am I saying that right? Remember back in the day, it was had like the turquoise silicone O-rings. So this looks like a coil head, some sort. Regular coil head. How's it going? How's Pretty it good. Work? We've already gone through the uh, instruction booklet. Okay, good. good. <laughs> From beginning to end. Yeah, let me scoop back over Oh, here. this comes with uh, a U-Force tank. Ooh, this U-Force tank actually looks cool. Doesn't it remind you, though? I already, I already told everybody. Reminds me of the Jabo the Theorem or whatever. Well, it's just because of the colors. That's what I said. Yeah. I didn't say, like, the actual tank. 
So. <laughs> yeah, well, this has an one. internal battery. Does it? Well, it looks like it because it's already off. Huh. It's stated that it's off. That's a weird looking mod. Yeah, his buttons. Let's pull that up. Look at that. Yeah, his buttons on both sides. The buttons are on both sides? I wonder if you have to push both of them for it to work. I doubt it. That would be kind of cool, though. It'd be less. Why does it just say off? It isn't... How come I can't turn it on? Can't I think you probably have to push hold down both buttons no, and it just goes just off turn completely. It off. <laughs> can't, fi can't figure it out. Yeah, well, I'm a genius, so it's. Not hard. No, I didn't say you were yeah. genius. Oh, this is a button also. Here oh, I bet you these are up downs and that's uh, the fire. Up downs fire. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure you're right. Oh wow, that kind of sucks. Yeah, that one I is. Wonder, up. Why did they send me that color? There's a thousand colors. They to knew choose it. You from. just said it looked cool. Yeah, I mean it they looks knew cool, that. but this is this is this is okay. Look, I'm not trying to turn this into some sort of political thing, but this is uh, this. I feel like this is a, f a pretty feminine color to send to me. Don't, don't you think? Am I r way off base? This this color doesn't appeal to me. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't really use that a lot either. Probably outdoors, but in the house, I mean, that'd be my dirty. Yeah, little... I mean, Tiffany blue. This Tiffany blue color isn't necessarily something that I'm I find appealing. Well, I guess if you know you are into like what's it called? Just for me, scream rock. Sc <laughs> yeah, S get that that scream rock that I listen to so much of. Yeah, I guess that's true. Well, it should, I don't it's know. not dripping with blood. You know, it kind of looks kind of cool, but it really pisses me off that the O rings don't match the mod. They're a different shade of blue. <sighs> yeah, they shouldn't have done that because it's so hard to match. O rings. Paints to O rings. Paint to O rings. Give me a it break. Is hard. Yeah, no, that's crazy. Well, so we got the Vupu uh, thingy deal. What's it called? It's called the Mojo. Oh, the Vupu Mojo. See, you gotta have enough Mojo to rock that Tiffany Blue. Yeah, that's what's going maybe on I here. just don't have enough Mojo to rock the Tiffany Blue. Maybe that's what's going on. These just rip open. Oh, Kent doesn't need a knife. Fuck a knife. Kent doesn't need a knife. Fuck a knife right in the butt. Oh, <laughs> and this is from Geek Vape. Oh, Geek Vape. Yeah, so, it's a clever name box. Oh, it's a kit. Okay. Uh, Two colors? I don't know. I always have to check. There's no color designation this on any Starry of these. Night? Yeah, this says Starry Night too. So this is the blade kit. You want to open up your blade kit? I have a feeling this is another Dual 18650. Comes with a sub ohm tank kit. China does a lot of those. It seems like the market must be saturated. Every point. vendor does. Oh, it those. does have a uh, security seals on there. Yeah. <laughs> Are you your trying buddy. to cut towards my face? Skip <laughs> <laughs> remembering. Cut towards your buddy? Yeah, the whole. Well, that's interesting. But would you look at that? <laughs> Holy shit. It's not going to focus. It's a manual focus. Oh, okay. Well, I tried. Um, it's, it's plastic. Is that plastic? Yeah, that's plastic. It's not resin. It's uh, not that resin. Is, it's injection molded plastic. Uh, there's an adapter for 18650s as well as 2700s and 21700 batteries as well. It has a completely removable sled tray that you plug in, and then you can plug 18650s on there as well. Wow, that's crazy. Regular that coil crazy heads. crazy looking. Just a coil head tank. The Aero tank. I don't know, what do you think of that? It's a little, it's a little weird looking. <laughs> it's a little weird looking, isn't it? Yeah. And they're both Starry Night, and I'm assuming that's the coating or whatever on there is supposed to look like the Starry Night painting. Oh, I guess ah. it's kind of similar there. It's a similar color the front's, scheme. The front's a little rainbowy for for that, but the back I panel I could see that. Yeah. And vape it. Is this the one you want to set up? Not really. Oh, this is a uh, Joytech. Well, what's Joytech been up to? Uh, I don't know. Let's find out. Yeah. Oh. I open a lot of Joytech stuff uh, in the vlog constantly. So that's it. What is it? Eco style. The AIO Eco. It's an all-in-one. It's a smaller all-in-one system. It's like the, you remember the AIO? The Joytech AIO? I never, I never, I never used it. Really? It was like a, it was like a mouth to lung Joytech starter kit Should we type open of it? thing. Yeah, open it. Uh, it's just, it's a tiny little guy. It honestly looks like a THC vape. It looks like a cannabis vape. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's really small. It's mouth to lung for sure. It has weird little Cardo style coil head things. Look. Yeah, there's one in the middle. It's basically a, a mouth to it's basically a cardo tank. Basically. Oh, bring it back. Cardo comes with a charger, of course. And it is a one twist to fill it up. You just go and it and it's a one twist. What's the capacity? What's the milliliter capacity on this? It's gotta be like well, two mils. One and a half mils? For clouds, if you use a seventy percent VG ratio, oh, it five tells thumbs you? up. <laughs> I also like that it says keep calm and vape on. And I'm not saying that I invented that saying, but I was definitely the first person in the vape industry to say keep calm and vape on. Really? Yeah, I said it in 2011. I used to use it as my uh, intros and outros. I would say keep calm and vape on. Oh, and I was the first. Interesting, not like it, 
Not like it really matters. It doesn't matter. That's but the thing. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to give you that one, Nick. Okay. I'll take it. This? Maybe you want to set this up? That's kind of cool, honestly. It is kind of cool, huh? I feel, I feel like you need, you some, need some high, high nicotine Nick. Do you have salt, ju- salt, Nick? Yeah, I have salt, Nick stuff. Like you want to set this like up? 24 milligrams? Yeah, I got 40. We can't set up two things? What, you want to set up this and you want to set up the fi- the, the mesh sub on tank? The avatar mesh? Sort of. So these this is your vote for this and this? Well, I haven't seen everything yet. That's everything. Uh, okay, well, there's one last package. There's one last package, uh, but I know who it's from, and I know what's inside. Oh, okay. But we are going to vape this. We're going to vape this beer. Cut towards your buddy, not towards your buddy. Why would you cut towards yourself? Cut away from yourself. Well, I'm not trying to cut you. Oh, so you're sparing me? Yeah. No, I appreciate that. I'm sure nobody can see my address. Well, you can just censor it out. You showed your butt earlier, too, so you might want to censor it out. Oh, did I? Okay, yeah, good. So you'll already be in the I'm mood. I'm glad that happened. Um, yep, this is, a, this is a package from my good buddy Eric. You know Eric, Vinyl and Vapor yep. Eric. Um, he's got his Deep Cuts line coming out. Side A, Psycho Cruller, a decadent dessert of sweet dough topped with caramel milk finished in the oven, ready to be dunked in your coffee. There's also Side A, which is Dragon Shake, a carefully crafted mix of dragon fruit and rich cream, walking the line between fruit, dessert, candy, and a thick milkshake. Yeah, there's juice. There's two for everybody in the squad. Oh, okay. He sent two for everybody oh, in the squad. bring to the squad. Yeah, I'm going to bring them to the squad. But I want to vape one today. Which for, which one would you rather vape today, Kent? What's the first one, a coffee? Side B is a dessert. It's a cruller. It's a donut. So funny. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe, Kent. <laughs> Sorry. Side A, a decadent dessert of sweet dough dipped in caramel milk, finished in the oven, ready to be dunked in your coffee. So I'm assuming it's like a donutty flavor. No, that's side B. I apologize. Side A... <laughs> Sorry, Eric. Side A is Dragon Shake, a carefully crafted mix of dragon fruit and rich creams walking line between fruit, dessert, candy, and a thick milkshake. I feel like that's more up your up your alley. No, I like the donut thing. You like the donut one? All right, let's do the donut one. Let's do the let's do the Psycho Cruller. Side B, and uh, Eric, of course, is is quite the amazing artist. I have some of his stuff, his stuff up uh, all around my house. I have his uh, uh, Chewbacca in a denim vest over there. And I have his David Bowie upstairs. And he does all his own artwork, and that's his. That's his. That's Eric's face on there. And there's beer. Here, hold beers. What do we got? Brown? What is that? Brown ale. Two roads. It's too juicy. English. Yeah. We want to try one of these in the vlog today? Yeah, this can be I one of our beers. I don't beers. drink beer, but I'll watch you do it. Yeah. I'm going to drink beer. Which one should I get? Flower Power. I'm going to text... I'm going to text Eric and ask him which one I should drink first. Which one's that one? Two Rhodes. Two uh, Rhodes. Hefweizen. Oh, I like a Hefeweizen. Unfiltered Bavarian style. This is the, a Flower Power IPA as well as a brown ale. These are all from Newberg Brewing Company. Well, cool. Eric sent me some beer. I'm excited about it. Eric sent some juice for me and the squad as well. And if I have any leftovers, um, obviously this is all just gonna go into $2 sale stuff. So yeah, okay, we're gonna do the Psycho Cruller as our juice taster. You wanna set up the Avatar Nano Mesh Tank and the Ego AIO Eco. Yeah, I think that sounds good. Ego AIO Eco. Say yeah, that all I'm not together. gonna say it. I'm Ego AIO Eco. Yeah. Ego AIO Eco. Wait, did you say that Echo, not Vapo? I didn't say Vapo. Okay. <laughs> well, it's on Did video. Did I say Vapo? Ego AIO Echo. I think you said Ego AIO Vapo. One in the comments for that one, two in the <laughs> comments for the other. Stop with the comments. <laughs> You're just going to have a bunch of ones and twos. Yeah, <laughs> ones and twos. I'm going to be like, great. <laughs> Thanks. And then the important things that I asked the subscribers to comment on, it's all just going to be replaced by ones and twos. And now there's two ones and two questions. Yeah. So I don't know which one they're answering. All right, let's switch the first one no, and two. Don't, don't, <laughs> listen to don't listen to Kent anymore. He's hijacking the vlog, and I'm not okay with it. So we're going to set up both of these, the Avatar Nano and the Ego AIO Echo. Or you want to set up one of these and then one of the Twisted Messes um, atomizers. Let's do it all, dude. We're going to do three things? Well, I don't know. I don't, well, let's just keep filming and see what happens. I mean, All you right. can always edit everything out. Yeah, every, <laughs> everything. Edit everything out. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to go back over to the desk. We're going to build these, uh, set them up, get them all vaping good, and then... Uh, We'll see you over there, and through the magic of video editing, it will seem seamless, and I don't have a bumper for this, so you know what we have to do is blurry transition. Oh, did you expect me to go along with that? No. Blurry transition. <laughs> as far as you can lean in. I look real chubby from this angle, don't I? You want to switch me spots? Like you want me to take the Commodore seat? 
Um, and no. <laughs> uh, so we we set some stuff up. Uh, we set up the little Joytech Ego AIO Eco, which say that say it real fast, like I want you to. Joytech Ego AIO Eco. AIO Eco AIO Ego Eco. <laughs> Ego AIO Eco. Anyway, we set up the Joytech Ego AIO Eco with 40 milligram salt nick, the Sprig Mint again. Um, I set up Kent's new Twisted Messes 24 Pro series. We put some Alien, uh, some M Turk Aliens in this. Titanium screws. I don't know. I'm gonna let Kent give you the whole rundown. What's what's up with this RDA? Twisted messes. Twistedmesses.com. Are we putting it in this part of the video or later? Yeah, we're just gonna put it right now because we're vaping it. We're gonna vape it right now in this segment. He doesn't want to talk about it. No, and then no, I'll talk about we it. Set up wait, wait. The... I got it, Nick. <laughs> I just had to collect my thoughts. I've been driving all day. You haven't fed me. This man is a <laughs> slave driver. All right. I haven't fed you. Yeah, the TM24 Pro. Right, let's talk about the okay. TM24 Pro series. Oh, okay. Here it is. This is the Pro series. I put it on the Squid Double Barrel. We put MTurk Aliens in here, a 0.17. They came out exactly to 0.17, exactly what Turk predicted. And uh, it's filled up with Pony on Acid, and we're going to vape that in a second as soon as we hear from Kent about the TM24. Okay, so... And I won't cut you off again. We put it on this mod right here, the Squid Double Barrel. I'm just kidding. Go ahead. <laughs> well, I really like the packaging. All right, I designed this in 3D. It's injection molded packaging. Very cool, in my opinion. All yes. Right. So I designed the atomizer for myself, and I even gave some other people consideration too. Normally mm -hmm. I don't don't do that, but a lot of people, you know, they had their 810 drip tips they like to use. And so we got an 810 drip tip adapter, titanium Phillips flathead screws. Because mm -hmm. a lot of you know a lot of people complain about the hex screws, even mm -hmm. though that's what I prefer. But people like those, so I they don't strip out titanium. 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 <laughs> the Aluminium. titanium. <laughs> Aluminium. <laughs> titanium. And uh, for single coil users, it has a chamber reducer made out of old time. It comes with three different drip tips, and it's fully compatible with all the accessories from the original TM24. Right. All the AFC rings. Yeah. 17 colors available. Yeah. So banging. So that's it. <sighs> anyway. It's here. And uh, do you want to give some away on this on this YouTube? Yeah, let's do it. $2. Yeah, we're going to do a $2 sale in this YouTube, but I haven't quite figured out how we're going to do that yet. I don't know how people are going to enter into the $2 sale. So do they just need to leave a comment? One to enter. No. To enter. <laughs> <laughs> no, bro. This isn't Facebook. You just can't do numbers. All right. Well, we'll figure it out later. We can continue on. Here's this. what we'll do. Well, all you have to do is comment down below, um, and you just type... Um, I love Twisted Messes, and I want the Pro Series. That's what you have to comment down below. I love Twisted Messes, and I want the Pro Series. And I'm going to pick... How many do you want to give away? How many do you have on you? How many do you want I a $2 sale? Okay. Well, well, no, no. It doesn't have to going, be today. Okay. Because I'm not going to be able to pick oh, the winners. Oh, winners. Yeah, one of each color. Stainless, okay. blue, gold, and black. Okay. And then after ECC... Uh, I'm going to pick the winners, and Kent's going to ship you atomizers. Does that work? Yeah, and Nick's going to pay for shipping. I'm, I'm going to pay for shipping on the, on, on the atomizers, and kidding. that's fine, and I'll that works. Shipping. So if you want to buy a Twisted Messes 24 for $2 from this web zone, just comment down below, I love Twisted Messes. I want the Pro Series. Is that what I said? Yeah. Is that I didn't yeah, change no, it at all? Very okay. Good. I love Twisted Messes. I want the Pro Series. Uh, just comment that down below, and uh, I'm gonna go through and pick four random people to be able to purchase this for two dollars. Two dollar sale in this vlog. Boom, roasted. I guess that's the first thing we should vape. I set it up like I've already said. How many times did I say it? A thousand. Squid Industries double barrel. M Turk Aliens on the inside. 0.17 Pony on acid. I have this set to 70 watts, because that's where I would want to vape it, but I know that you would set it a lot higher. Where would you set this? Well, the 0.17 MTurk coils, I'd probably start at 110, and then uh, just dial it up slowly. Um, yeah, I mean, it's real if flavorful. It's real clouds, bro, clouds. Um, Kent didn't help me with this in any way. No, Kent didn't help me at all. I set this whole thing up by myself. I installed the coils, I wicked it, I juiced it, and uh, it's good. So you would turn it up to 110? I was only doing it at 70. Yeah, I know, but the airflow is wide open, so it's going to make it a little bit better for you. And you have to take a, a, a hard 
toot on it, right? You have to take a, take a bit of a hard drag, right? Well, I wouldn't do a long, slow inhale. No? Unless you don't care for your... We're, we're talking about, like, this is like cloud comp sort of inhaling right now. Everyday inhaling. Okay, speak up into the microphone. I apologize, my microphone's right here, but it needs to pick up both of us. Stop it. No one's, <laughs> no one's going to be confused by that. No one's going to go, oh, I suddenly can't hear Kent anymore. <laughs> All right, let's try it at 110 watts. It's too high. Let me try. It. Maybe just, I was uh, wrong. You know, it's just a lot of it's just a lot of vapor, um, <laughs> and I'm not used to that much. I mean, yeah, that's see, that's like clouds bro clouds times a hundred. When you leave Nick alone at his house, he drops to seventy watts. His lungs yeah. become reconditioned, yeah. reconditioned. And then when I hang out with Cat, he's like, "Nope, turn that up. 100, 118 watts. 110 quick, watts. Quick sanitizing. Quick <laughs> the t-shirt sanitizing." Perfect. No, it's mellow. That's mellow? Yeah, absolutely. That made me cough. Maybe we're inhaling too hard. You told me not to give it a nice, l slow inhale. Well, give it a regular inhale. I didn't realize it was... Isn't that better? That's much better. That's that's actually really nice. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Overcoaching, you know? We overthought that one. Well, it's... Um... That's really good. That's a really good vape. Uh, it's it's really good flavor. The Twisted Mess 24 has always given me pretty good flavor, though. Yeah, it's got a pretty short chamber. It's it. got a pretty short chamber, and it's always given me pretty solid flavor. And the M-Turk Aliens on the inside, I think, uh, contribute to that good flavor. Because, I yeah. mean, they're M-Turk Aliens. They just, they just have good flavor. And air, See, I was going to turn it down to 70 watts and turn down the airflow, but now I think I might leave it at 110 watts and leave the airflow wide oh, open. You want to turn it higher? Just hit it at 120 real quick. Hit it at 120 real quick. I just want everyone to know that this Squid Industries double barrel has never been to 120. Really? I've never vaped this at 120 watts. I've never vaped this What does over. it go up to? It goes up to 150. Yeah, that's too high. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course it is. Any, any reasonable human will tell you that. 120 watts, 0.17. Want me to go first? No, I'll do it. I got this. I got this. All right. I got this. Don't go too crazy. Just trying to psych myself into Just... it. Yeah, dude, it's fine. That's pretty good. No, it's awesome. Yeah, let's put a little more juice in the No, that is a... It's a combination of... You have to adjust your draw a little bit, which I never really thought about. I always assumed that the hotter your coils were, the more airflow you needed and the harder you needed to drag, but that's not necessarily the case. You can give no, it a little just, bit more of a mellow yeah. drag. You match, you can, cause like, I think I just hear the crackling and I know how loud it is. <laughs> and I know what flow to match it with, you know? Yeah, what flow, what airflow. And it gets to a point eventually, like if you crank this up to like 130. Let's just give it a shot, 130. Like 130, Why you, not? You, that's reach what a we're point, here for. you reach a point where the intensity of the crackling overcomes your ability to inhale faster. And so, that's the balance. Well, no, you don't that's want to max balance. it out because that's not, as you've just realized, that's not comfortable. No. I think it's past the actual specs of the mod because that doesn't feel any hotter. Really? Well, that could be. So this is 131 watts. This is mod is already warm. The yes. atomizer... No, the atomizer is not even that hot. Let's turn it back down. Okay, I'm gonna turn. This, <laughs> I'm gonna turn this back down to 110 watts. That's where I feel comfortable using it. 111. I've never vaped anything at 111 one, watts one, before. One one. Well, it looks cooler. 111. Oh, you really got that juicy in there, didn't you? Well, yeah, I was heading at 130. Except Kent's the kind of guy that doesn't. Um, you don't cycle your cotton. You just want it wet always, all the time. Yeah, I mean, it would be better at night to cycle it, like. Em you know, Mike has a point. M Turk, because he's always talking about cycling the cotton. He'll vape it till it's like, it looks totally dry. That's how I vape it. I vape it pretty dry. And then he juices it again, which is yeah. a good habit. Yeah. Because if you leave it overnight, you don't get it all crackly and weird in the morning. Um, uh, at this point, after all of this vaping, this drip tip is warm, warm, warm to put in my mouth. Well, yeah, that's why it comes with an Ultim, a black Ultim, and a shorty Ultim. But I like the stainless steel. I think it looks cooler. Well, if I, if I think it looks cooler, it's just something I have to put up with, right? I like it where it is. I like it where it is. All right, TM24. So the things we set up, TM24 Pro series in the bag. One of the other things we set up was this guy, which surprised both of us. We've both taken toots on this. Yeah. We filled it up with 40 milligram uh, salt nick, 4% 
spring mint, salt nick, uh, and it's basically a cardo tank. I'm not sure how many vapors I have now as subscribers that were vaping way back in the day with cardo tanks, but this, this is essentially a cardo tank. There's a cardomizer on the inside. You put the tank around it, you fill it up, you press the button, it crackles, and it vapes exactly like a cardo tank used to. And it's this cool little, cool little guy, and I kind of wish the tank was white and gray. I wish it matched. Yeah, it's kind of weird that they chose... It's kind of weird that they throw a white. black tank on top of this nice white and gray, like, Apple Store-looking mod, but... Mod. Battery. <laughs> How did I call this a mod? But it vapes really well. Mm-hmm. It vapes awesome. Yeah, let me get that. He loves it. He lo might love it more than I do. But it's great. It's a mouth-to-lung vape, and it just feels real nice, real crackly. I got the hiccups now. I got the hiccups from your atomizer, bro. It's 40 milligram salt nick. It is. It's the 40 yeah. milligram salt nick. It made me, uh, hang you on. Getting nicked out? I need to get my composure here. We need to get a, we need to take a break. Just watch this in the morning time or it might disturb your sleep focus patterns. Over there. But you like it. Yeah. This hits yeah, nicely. Let me vape it again. Talk about it. Talk about what you like about it. Um, it's just kind of like for a mouth to lung hit, it's a, it's a nice ratio of airflow and vapor coming out of the thing, you know? Mm hmm. And so the it flavor is really it, nice yeah. too. This juice tastes good. Yeah, it has in here. It has enough body, so it doesn't feel airy, but it's not overpoweringly strong. It does. It has a you nice I mean? body. It has a, the vapor has a nice body to it. In mouth to lung, I mean, that's what I started on. I always have a soft spot for that. I always have a soft spot. I have like six mouth to lungs going right now. You want to try all my other mouth to lungs while we're here? I mean, how long is it going to take? It should be quick. Grab one. I'm right just here. kidding. No, here, take this one. Try this one. This is the one I like a lot. Here, hang on. This one too. You have any uh, Clorox wipes? I'm just kidding. No, that's uh, that's just 12 milligram. Is that 114 watts? Four, 14 watts. <laughs> like it's a 1.6 ohm coil. It's just uh, um, 12 milligram. See what? A, it's not quite restricted enough. You can close it down. AFC on it. Some people, I find this one to be almost perfect. Yeah, that's airflow. what I mean. This way, the, with, with two holes on whatever Zenith tank this is, it was a little bit airier than that. Yeah. Mm hmm. And then one hole is too I tight. That. One hole is too tight on this. Really? One hole's too tight, two holes is too open? Yep, so maybe you can get one and a half. He's really picky with airflow. Mm. That's good. Yeah, one and a half. Try it. It's a good vape. Well, it's equal to this now. Mm hmm. Yeah, that is pretty equal. That's pretty evenly matched. Have you ever tried a K-Fun Light Plus? That's old school. That's 2000, 2011 K-Fun Light Plus. 2011? 2011 or 2012 was the K-Fun Light Plus. Has a non-adjustable airflow, which I really like the airflow on that. Yeah, that's good. Let me see. Kent's doing some airflow experiments for us. Well, it's like it's a little bit more open than the Ego ICIO <laughs> Eco. But, uh... <laughs> it's the Ego AIO Eco. Okay. That's nice, huh? Yeah. This is my favorite. This is one yeah. of my favorite bangers. The thing about K-Funds, though, because they have the chamber reducer yeah or the domed shaped the actual on the top no it's it's uh, yeah. it's it's angled it's yeah, not so flat it, like whenever it gets condensed like that i feel the vapor gets a little bit moist you know? yeah it gets a little bit moisty so when you inhale after the mouth portion yeah. of the process get that. the mouth <laughs> portion little, of the it's process a little, it's a little too moist in the lungs for me i could see that um the last thing we set up is this monstrosity. So we d we decided to set up this mesh uh, sub ohm tank, and I wanted a mod to put it on. And I thought, let's just get out that Starry Night mod from Geek Vape, and we've officially made the ugliest setup of all time. <laughs> it's just super ugly. I think this mod is real ugly, and uh, there's no really way around it. It looks like a like an acid trip nightmare. It's really weird, weirdly colorful. It's pink and blue and orange and weird swirls like kind of all over it. And then the tank is like this honeycomb pattern. It's like this purple and gold honeycomb pattern. And it just clashes perfectly with this ridiculously ugly mod. This is, two, I put two 21700s in here and it's big. It's, a, it's big, it feels big in your hand. When you feel it, it feels yeah. big. It's a little bulky. It's a little bit on the bulky side. But yeah. the tank vapes great. Yeah, this tank's awesome. Do you want to demonstrate for us, Kent? We loaded up with uh, Anarchist Pink Lemonade, and it's a it's a banging vape. That's yeah. a good tank. That's a really good tank. Yeah, the mesh coils are cool, man. I never tried those before. Yeah, the mesh coils are really good. I like the uh, grab the blue uh, the blue one there, the blue one in the back. That's a mesh coil head as well, and yeah, it's got uh, go on this thing? low rider in it. Yeah, this is loaded up with Anarchist Pink Lemonade, and it tastes delicious in here. Oh, this mod. Is this another one of those double barrel mods? 
Yeah, I really like the double matches. The tank was it sold together? No, wow. separately, completely separately. I like having Kent come over and critique all my vapes. It's, it's good. It's a good experience. Yeah, try it with that airflow instead of what you had it at. Wow. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to start adjusting my airflow. I either leave it. I always just leave it full open, like all full open. Yeah, I always leave all my airflows full open. Well, you said that you wanted to turn down the TM24 Pro Series. Well, yeah. Because that's what I was feeling at the time, but I didn't know I needed to adjust the wattage. See, Kent's here to teach me things <laughs> as well. He's teaching me how to vape, essentially. I know you're completely out of focus right now, completely off camera. You keep slowly moving backwards. Well, this is pretty uncomfortable, let's here, be switch honest. places. Go, go up here. That's what, I originally, up that's what I originally proposed, and you said, no, this is my show, and I'm sitting in front. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way I said that, by the way. So I'm going to sneak in here like this, let Kent take up all the camera space. You know, this mod isn't so bad if you close your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, is it any better or worse than your Vupu drag? Yeah, it's yeah, way yeah. worse. Yeah, it's, it's much worse. It's worse. Like, even, and if this like panel like throws you off, you can always just turn it around. I mean, the drag's kind of cool font and stuff. It's whatever. Like, I don't like that drag on there. I find that annoying. It's but the mesh tank, the Vapesten Nano, what's it called? The Vapesten, grab that box. This one? Yeah. What's it called? The Avatar Nano. Avatar Nano. Avatar Nano mesh tank is banging. I really yeah. like this vape. I How long do mesh coils last? Uh, longer than coils. Oh, really? Okay. Because uh, I've found in my experiences, I think they last longer than coil heads. Because it's there was like no break-in period, like two or three drags of kind of a weird taste, and then it was normal. Yeah, it was great. So anyway, that's what we set up. Um, in the interest of time. Um, what we're going to do right now is probably stay in the same exact position. I might adjust my lighting a little bit, but we are going to taste some of Eric Vinyl and Vapor's Deep Cuts Juice. We're going to taste the, uh, the Cruller. We're going to taste the Cruller. Are we tasting it on this? Yeah, don't fire it. Oh, I'm not, obviously. You're holding it like you're going to fire it. <laughs> yeah, this is like you were holding the knife earlier, like you're going to... Yeah, anyway. So we're going to taste on that. So we'll be right back with a very random juice tasting. Wave, can't... Or, oh, oh, okay, you're going to do that. Just kidding. Much better. <laughs> okay, so we are here to taste Vinyl and Vapor, Deep Cuts. This is, nope, this is the wrong one. That's Dragon Shake. This is the one. Psycho Cruller, which uh, I'm assuming is a donut flavor. It's unopened, so I'm going to give it a, a knuckle test, a lick test. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, it tastes donutty. It tastes very donutty. It tastes like a donut. It tastes super donutty. Um, uh, we're going to be vaping this today on my Dreamer Mac with the gold recoil <laughs> Rebel on top. This is my own build in here. What? Can I fuck with the program? Y yeah. I mean... Let's knuckle test this too. Oh, you want to knuckle test both of them? Is that okay? And then decide? Or are you, are you are we set I on mean, the crawler? I mean, I know I'm messing with your system here. It's okay. Man, these knuckles have never been drier. <laughs> <laughs> How's that one? Oh, it's fruity. Well, the description made me think it would be more desserty. I don't know which one I want to taste now. I kind of want to still taste, still taste the donut Let's one. Let's stick with our first decision. Let's stick with the donut one. Anyway, we're tasting this on a Dreamer Mac with the Gold Recoil Rebel. I have a center post build in here. It's 22 gauge. Uh, Anarchist 7 wrap on a 3 millimeter. I don't know, it came out to 0.17, so I rock it on this mech and it's actually pretty nice. But uh, I'm gonna juice up these coils while Kent continues to create a weather system in my office. Cleansing my palate. Oh, the palate cleansing, yeah, that's good. You use the spring mint for palate cleansing. Well, maybe I took it too far just now, just kidding. Right. Here's how the juice, here's, here's how the juice, here's how the very random juice tasting goes every week in the vlog. We do a knuckle test, we talk about the flavor profile. This is Psycho Cruller, it's a donut flavor. Vinyl and Vapor, Deep Cuts. I take usually one to two, and then I'll sit and I'll vape it for a while, and then we'll come back and we'll like really, we'll talk about it. Because you, really you can't really get a taste for the flavor after one drag. And what's the name of this segment again? Random Juice Tasting. That's not what you said the first time. Yeah, Very Random Juice Tasting. Very Random, okay. Very Random Just making sure tasting. because... I like to say very. It's a thing that I say in my vlogs a I'm lot. I'm just saying that this isn't very random. It is. It came in and I, it's random. I didn't know when that was going to arrive. No, I mean, I mean, very random would be like, let's go just search Google, go whoosh, down the page, swipe down, pick a juice, pick, no, pick a pick a vape shop, drive over there, and then have their menu, flip with your eyes closed, choose one. That's very <laughs> random. <laughs> yeah, 
Yes, that, <laughs> that 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 would that would be very random. Yeah. Okay, so this now I have to change the name of this segment. You're well, you do what you want. It? This is your All life. Right. Well, this welcome your... to the welcome to the not quite so random juice tasting. Is that better, Kent? I'd say it's a little better. Unbelievable. Just come in here and change everything. Change all my segments up. It's all right. I'm gonna try this and and I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about it. Uh, it's donutty. It's uh, it's donutty. I'm is gonna it, give it that. Is it cinnamony? Why don't you, no, I don't get any cinnamony from it. Okay. I get some donutty from it. I get some glaze action from it. Cause back in the day, you remember? I don't remember how many years ago it was, but like cinnamon roll vapes became super popular. Cinnabon. Yeah. Yeah. Type flavors. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like really into it for a second. But um Muffin Man. Muffin Man? I never vaped Muffin Man. You never Man. vaped Muffin Man? No. Yeah, Cuz you were just it was kind of fuck, fucked up packaging, right? Yeah, it was real the, fucked up. Packaging. The branding was off. Yeah. Well, well I there's, actually like cartoon that, muffin on. I like that so. juice for they sent me like a 250 ml or some gigantic bottle and I vaped like that much of it super wholeheartedly and then just got like to the point where I was like now anything I don't even like Cinnabons anymore <laughs> <laughs> I ruined myself alright well I'm interested to see what you think of that juice it's bakery it's it's definitely donutty I get a lot of glazy from it here's what we're gonna do we're gonna sit here and we're gonna vape it and then we'll come back and we'll discuss it All right, so after much deliberation and discussion <laughs> about how I wick things and sizzle factor and how long an atomizer stays sizzling after you press the button, we got really deep into it. What do you think? What do you think of the juice? No, I, I do. I do like it a lot. Yeah. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, I can tell a lot of thought went into it. A, it's because, a complex juice. Yeah, it's complex, but you can tell like with complex juices, a lot of times you you'll vape it and you're like, yeah, that's pretty good, but then there's some sort of weird kind of one of the flavors is over, one of the flavors is under or something, and you have like sort of like a weird aftertaste or a weird sense. Yeah. Just uh, a, it's a, a weird sense going on, right? Unbalanced. Mm -hmm. That's what we call unbalanced juices. This is a really, really well-balanced juice. It tastes like a donut from beginning to end. Inhale yeah. and exhale. It tastes yeah. like one, one consistent flavor, and you don't pick one thing out over the other. Yeah. It's probably not something that I would like use to vape all day for myself, but there's nothing... There's I really like this. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to take this to ECC with me. Sw swap out that mod and coils, though. No, this is great. What are you kidding me? <laughs> I love this mod. This is one of my favorite setups, and Kent just comes in here and trashes it. No, no, it's no, no, no. Contact coils, well, micro forgot. coils. No, 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 no. I forgot they used to call them contact coils. No, 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 no. Good. That's a damn good vape. Yeah, if you take a long... Okay, I admit, I don't Let's usually talk about vape it. like that. Right, so like I don't usually Nick, vape like this. Yeah, so Nick taught me that you have to take long, slow... Longer, Vaginal slower. inhales. <laughs> Stop it. Longer, slower drags. Because this is higher resistance. This is a 0.19 on a single tube mech. Yeah. And so it's not going to be hot like 111 watts. Right. It's, it's going to be substantially to less. You have to slow your airflow down a little bit. Sort of what I was talking about earlier, not practicing. So, you know, I'm willing to admit when I'm wrong. Good, because you're wrong. Other than what you think about this juice, because I completely agree with you, it's a great, it's a great donut flavor. Uh, it tastes like a glazed donut, a glazed cruller donut from beginning to end. And what, let me, what do you, let me, what do you think about the sweet level of it? Do you think it's too sweet or do you think it's a good level of sweet? No, it's a nice level of sweet, yeah. It's not you, overpowering. Do it's something like, nor, like a lot of bakery flavors will be overpoweringly sweet. Yes. So that it gets old so fast. Yes. Like this is not going to be making you sick to your stomach because it's so sweet. You know, no. like if you ate seven Cinnabons, you'd feel kind of sick. Like Too that's how sweet. a lot of those like bakery type flavors end up making me feel. But this is, this is not overpoweringly sweet. No, no it's not overpoweringly sweet at all. It's but just sweet, it's enough, sweet enough to yeah. be, it's sweet enough that you know it's like a bakery dessert type of flavor. Right. Yeah, it's good. I like it. I think it's great. Yeah. I think it's a great flavor. Um, I'm excited to try the other one, but uh, I'm not sure if these are available yet. I'm not sure where these are available or where they're going to be available, but I will get with Eric and I'll make sure that there's a link in the description uh, of this video. So that's going to wrap up our random juice tasting. And in the interest of time, for editing, because I still have to edit all of this stuff, and in interest of lunch, we're going to eat lunch now, and when we come back from lunch, 
We're going to sit here, and you and I are going to read uh, some of my favorite comments of the week. How's that sound? All right, but just for the record, since I don't know any of these juices, this is more close to a very random juice test. I just... <laughs> That's fine. I'm sorry. No, that's fine. <laughs> all the mods. All the mods. All the mods you fell. Need a, you need a holder or something. You knew I was coming over. Yeah, but usually... <laughs> usually when I go to grab a mod, I'll be like, oh, that's the mod I'm going to grab. So I'm going to aim directly this for it did, and get it. And so he just looked away and was like... <laughs> That's exactly what happened. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he did. knocked over everything. It was like a domino effect. Okay, so you're going to taste that. <laughs> That's a very random juice tasting, Kent. Taste it and tell me what you think. It's really sizzly. Really sizzly. What kind of coils do you have in here? Single coil uh, Fiends frame staple. How long do you squeeze this? Let go. What are you doing? I don't know. I was just pushing on it. Yeah, don't do that. I don't squonk. <laughs> it's going to feel a little bit flooded now. Same, same drag style as this. Longer and slower. Longer and slower. What coils are in here? Fiends, frame staple. Single. Do they need to be dry burned? No. They're glowing. They were glowing perfectly. You're wicking. It's not my wicking. Uh, he thinks it's my wicking. It's not my wicking. You put like three threads of cotton hanging down the bottom of the yeah, coil? I just put a pad of cotton on top of the coils. That's what I do. Well, that's reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> what juice is that? Do you like it? Yeah, it tastes honey. It tastes honey? Mm -hmm. Interesting. It's not a honey flavor, Kent. It tastes like some sort of honey fruit. It's uh, Smacks Lick It. Oh. Peach and cream. So Peach. No, oh. no honey. That's so weird. Peach and cream. As soon as I said it, yeah. you tasted it. How bizarre. Yeah, it's bizarre. Your brain. Your brain's a weird thing, man. Yeah, you probably could have said anything, and I would have been like, oh. Okay, well, grab another one. All grab right. the, grab the, okay, careful. Grab the V-God one. <laughs> careful. Grab the V-God one. The one that's laying on the ground? No, no, no. The one that's up the, with the U-Force tank. This? No, no. The V-God one. That one. Oh. Ooh, the one this, that says V-God on it. This one's nice. Yeah, it's rad. I gave that a really good review, and, and uh, people gave me a lot of shit for it. But really? I think it's a really good mod. No, it feels awesome in the hand. Yeah. It feels rad in the hand. V-God. Sponsored, sponsored by V-God. The Elite <laughs> is not sponsored by V-God. Elite 200 watt. I still really like that mod. <laughs> See, this is the one I know he's not going to be able to guess what it is. What do you taste? It's almost like a melony. Melon? You want me to tell you what it is? Are you going to make something up? Oh, should I make something up? I can't think off the top of my head like that. You have a vlog. You talk <laughs> all day. What do you mean? <laughs> I can't just make something up off the top of my head like that because my subscribers, my viewers who are watching this, they know what's in there. Yeah, I know, which is good. So if I, I make don't. something up. Yeah, they all know. Ahead of time, we said we were making something up. If you would have told me Lorenz watermelon, but yeah. Totally. No, no. There's no melon. There's no watermelon in it. There's no melon. It's like, uh, here, vape it again. It's like a, it's like a high C fruit punch. More perfumey than that, though. It's not a high C fruit punch. I tried to trick him and he didn't work. It's a lemon berry jawbreaker. Now, does it taste like a lemon berry jawbreaker? No. Why? Why? <laughs> Why, Kent? That's exactly what it tastes like. It tastes like a jammed a lemon, jam lemon berry jawbreaker. In Is my that mouth. a thing? A lemon berry jawbreaker? Or do they just call it that? Because I taste the aftertaste of jawbreaker. It's Arcadia. It's, it's a lemon berry jawbreaker. But, I mean, does a lemon berry jawbreaker exist in the candy store? Or do they just put jawbreaker I think the end all jawbreakers are lemon berry jawbreakers. I think that's the flavor of a jawbreaker is lemon berry. Really? Yeah. I don't taste much citrus. Uh-uh. It's, it's like candy lemon. It's not like a, a citrusy lemon. It's like a candy lemon. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. Okay, so in the interest of keeping this a little bit shorter, um, <laughs> what we're going to do is cut this segment off right now. I still have to edit all this video, but we're going to end this vlog uh, with my favorite comments of the week. Um, as soon as we get some food into our bodies, more importantly, food into Kent's body, because the first thing he said when he walked upstairs is, do you got any food? That's yeah, what he that said. was about three hours Got ago. Got any food. And that was three hours ago. So we need to get him some food. So we're going to do that. And we'll be right back with favorite comments of the week.
Uh, welcome back to the Grim Green. I don't know why I said that. We ate lunch. Uh, we had burritos. How good was your burrito, Ken? <sighs> really delicious. It was good. It was a banging. It was a banging burrito. Yeah. Um, so what we're here to do is we're gonna wrap up the vlog right now with my favorite comments of the week, and I just want to say I've been vaping this since I set it up. This this tank is awesome, and this mod is still ugly. Um, let's check in actually and see what Instagram thought of it. I put up a poll on Instagram to see if anybody thought that this, if anybody thinks this mod is as ugly as we think this mod is. So we're gonna we check. Oh wow, it's really split. 50-50. Oh, only, only 141 people chimed in. Mm -hmm. So as of right now, 141 people, 51% said they dig it, 49% thought it was ugly. It's really split. Wow. Half and half. Wow, that's surprising, isn't it? That is surprising to me. I thought everyone would think this was ugly. Well, you know, maybe Geek Vape did the same poll. Maybe Geek Vape did the same poll. Uh, one thing that I know is this Freemax tank is good. These coil heads are good. I just wish this was just stainless. Well, yeah. well. Um, but 141 people, I'm really surprised by that. I'm really surprised by those results. Yeah. I'm, I'm quite taken back. Taken back. Taken aback. I'm taken aback. What we're gonna do right now is favorite comments of the week. Hope everybody can hear us okay. And uh, Kent has my iPad and he's just gonna, you don't have, just pick six random ones. Is it okay if they see it? They can see your iPad. Oh. No, I mean, they won't be able to see the screen. But pick six random ones. Just make sure you remember which ones you pick. Oh, randomly? Yeah. Oh, so pick, these are all good. These are all a bunch of comments of the week. Just okay. pick, 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 pick six ones. Just pick them at random, and we're going to read them. Elac de Glock said, yo. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know why I saved that one. Oh, but okay. thanks, Elac de Glock. <laughs> Yo, yo, yo back. Yo back at ya. Okay, so I wasn't alone in thinking that Yeah, I don't know why that one's right. on there. I'm gonna have to put my arm around you if that's okay. That's fine. Okay. That's fine. What, who's this person's name? His name is Hunain Patel. Okay. He says, basil means onions in Arabic. <laughs> is that true? I have no way to verify that. Well, that, that doesn't say basil, true. it says basal. Yeah, basal means onions in Arabic. So that Elif basal kit... They oh. named it. They might as well have named it onions. onions. <laughs> Interesting. What are you vaping? Uh, the onions. The onions mod. All right, got a long one here. Okay. Got a long one from Randy Stoll. Ah. Shout out to Randy Stoll for taking his time to write this long message with no capital letters or well, some. Oh wait, wait, wait! I, have I already read this one? I might have already read this one, because I know Randy. So no double dipping then. Cancel. Uh, just Sorry, read it again. Randy. It doesn't matter. Just read it again. As much as I love your videos, man, stop blowing into your damn tanks. Look up how vacuum works, and you will get so much more consistent results from the sub ohm tanks. I mean, comma. I get where the habit come came from, but damn it, man. Dot 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 dot. Sub ohm tanks are not drippers. I'm pretty sure I know Randy, and uh, I do. I blow into my sub ohm tanks. Do you yeah. ever purge ever? No. What, what's the point of purging? The only time you're going to purge is like, I realized one time when I was, I was like, what well, if you just purge before a cloud comp? That makes sense because it fills your lungs with vapor. And then on the last pull, they're max full for a cloud comp. But there's no reason to purge. It's just a habit people have. Yeah, it's a habit that I have. For sure. All right, let's go with a short one this time. Okay. Ooh, yellow and the Snapchat thing really caught my eye. Okay, what does it say? Well, it's from Solomon Die. Okay. D-Y. Yeah. Wait! Did you take a clip of you watching yourself? Oh, yeah, I did. I did do that. I was trying to be real... <laughs> I was trying to be real artistic and uh, show myself vaping in a video. And so as I was editing the video, I was like, there needs to be a clip of me vaping right here. And so I just quickly shot a clip of myself vaping while the video that it's in is on my screen. Uh -huh. And so I was watching myself and I shot myself vaping while I watched myself. Basically being a YouTuber is like 90% watching yourself. All right, All right let's pick another one. This next one. one. Oh yeah, this one's juicy. Mike Jones says, nice neck tattoo, faggot. Can't even thread a screw. Yes. Thanks, Mike Jones. <laughs> uh, appreciate that. <laughs> what the fuck? What's wrong with people? I don't know. I don't know. Doesn't matter. What's the can't even thread a screw? Uh, I, I can't imagine. I mean, uh... I can't imagine what that's from. Okay. So I'm, I'm assuming I had troubles with a screw and a deck. Uh, I mean, I don't know if Mike knows that you don't thread a screw. Screws come already threaded. I think he meant that I couldn't screw it in. 
Uh, his verb. So yeah, his, his verb mixed up. With it's his... okay. He was really focused on my no. neck tattoo, though. Apparently, so maybe that's what. Maybe that's why he wasn't. Uh, you know, I think like typing correctly. I won't go there. What? No, no, I can't now. What? It's already too late. What's too late? No, it's everything I was gonna say. I, I've changed my mind completely. Okay, Kent right. does that. That's okay. I do. I I, I do. <laughs> I do. I do. I do. I know you do. Okay, let's pick another one. Yeah, yeah. I like. Uh, I think this will be interesting for the for the Nick fans. From brutalness, he says, "You need to go back to saying toot." God damn it! Yeah, all uppercase. I might have read that one before. Brutalness. Are you sure you're in the right? Yeah, that's time the frame? that's yes, that's the right folder. You need to go back to saying toot. I used to say toot a lot. I've been trying to say toot more, but I feel like toot is something that people dislike. When when I say toot, I used to say toot constantly. Well, ask the viewers. Have a toot. All right, one in the comments if you like toot. Two God if damn you don't. It. No. <laughs> All these comments are just going to be ones and twos. It's going to be amazing. Yeah, thanks. That's There's a thousand ones Kent's and two master comments. plan. It must be a Twitch thing. It's a tw- it's a thing if you're chatting, if you have live chat, oh. where you can ask a question. And be oh, like, one I for see. This, two for this, and people can reply and then you right can away. See a bunch of ones and twos. But in the comments, I can't go back and be like, "What was that two referring to? Was right. that the time that Kent said this? Was so that the that's time that's going to be Kent awesome?" <laughs> I okay, pick we... pick like uh, pick like two more. Two more? Okay, yeah, I thought it was like one more. more. Well, pick like two more. It's okay. Okay, I'm just gonna. Ooh, I didn't do this one. Okay. All right. Dan Watson says Dwayne looked like Donkey Kong from Mario Kart on that quad. Yeah, that was from Bro Trip. Quote Bro unquote, Trip eight. Eight. <laughs> it wasn't really eight. It was Bro Trip ten. But I don't know who keeps track of Bro Traps. I'll just skip eleven. I'll be the next Bro Trip. Will be twelve. Do you think Dwayne looked like Donkey Kong from Mario Kart on that quad, like a big bulky guy on it a little is, tiny quad? It is a quad for his daughter. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it is a quad for his. How old is how old is his daughter? Seven years old. No, she's eight? older than that. Was she nine? No, she's like twelve, dude. She's not 12. One and for 12. <laughs> <laughs> Two for eight. All right. <laughs> Dude, the bro trip, that was like the best video ever. If you guys haven't seen the bro trip. He loves it. Eight bro trip, Fast and the Furious. What's Dumont it called? Dunes. It's called bro trip uh, eight, Dumont Dunes. Yeah, that's like the best AKA video. AKA bro trip. That's the best video he's ever made. Maximum. Let's be honest. Are you taller than me right now? Dude, I'm, I'm taller than you in general. Oh, this is way better. I feel much more intimidating now. Now that I'm taller than Kent. Are you my daddy? Uh, <laughs> maybe, Kent. All right, so we got what? All right, pick the last one. Just pick one last one. Oh, gross. This person's really nasty. That's not... Yeah, just read it. Oh, I'll read it. <laughs> but I'm not going to enjoy it. Will Edge. Will with one L. Questionable spelling, Will. The taggy bits of skin on your thumb at 1 minute 45 seconds really bug me. I just want to reach into the screen and pick them off. OMG, just press play, and you noticed it. LOL, I'm so happy you noticed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Apparently my dry nail beds, when they get skin tags yeah. on them. It's not uh, skin tags, but go on. Well, well, you know, not skin tags, but like when your skin comes up. Oh, yeah, yeah. That really bothers Will very much. And I get that. I get that because I realize that a lot of my videos are of my hands when I'm doing uppy closey stuff. And just the other day, I decided that I, I wash my hands with a toothbrush now before I shoot video. Oh, it took you this scrub, long. I scrub disgusting. my fingers with a toothbrush and get all the crap well, you know, I and scrub them up good real good and that. nice now. What's surprising to me is that you never noticed that before. Like when you watch other videos and you see well, some before, nasty I didn't... fingernails and you're like, ugh, but you didn't just didn't notice that or you just didn't watch other people's videos? What was the middle part? It was something about... People who have like really gross finger... No offense to people who have really gross fingernails on their videos. <laughs> but isn't that something that's subjective? That's not an objective statement. Who cares? I think there's enough people who it really bothers that it'd be a good <laughs> idea just to do it. Yes, anyway, I, I That's have why I had to stop doing it. videos, because it got too intense. I got to wash my hands really good. I have pretty clean hands in most of the videos. But then people were like, yeah, you, I think it was Matt from Suck My Mods, like, you should put lotion on your hands. And I was, so it's, they're not dry, you know, get that dryness out of there. And I was like, all right. So I just put lotion on my hands, and my, everything's so slippery, <laughs> I couldn't build a coil. I'm like, oh, they're trying to build a coil. I'm like, oh, it's fucking lotion all over my hands. <laughs> stop making videos. 
<laughs> no, that's, it was Matt. It was Matt from Suck My Mod. That's why Kent stopped making videos. Let's blame Matt from Suck My Mod. Anyway, we're done with the iPad. I think we're done with this vlog. I don't think there's anything else I wanted to do. I had some viewer mails lined up, but honestly, it's getting towards the end of the day. Um, I still have to edit all this footage. Kent is extremely bored. No, shooting video. I'm not bored. All, all day. He's like, are we done yet? Are we done yet? Are we done yet? Are we done sure yet? Off. Are we done yet? Fine. Everything's fine. But don't forget the one thing that I do want you to put in the comments is... One uh, or two. No. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to be part of the $2 sale of this oh, vlog, yeah. okay. there are four... Twisted Messes 24 Pro Series Atomizers up for sale. They're going to be $2 a piece. And all you have to do to purchase one for $2 is comment down below, I love Twisted Messes, I want the Pro Series. And then you can put another comment, like whatever you want. Just make sure that you use those words. And what I'll do is I'll just go through randomly and I'll pick four people. We'll announce it uh, at the next vlog or, or something like that. Yeah. I'll make sure that you guys are well aware of the winners. I will contact the winners directly. And Kent is going to ship you four atomizers. And yeah. you don't get to choose the color. Yeah, but if you put a one or two at the end of that sentence, you can get bonus <laughs> points. Yeah. Twisted Messes <laughs> stickers? No, you have a better chance of winning, let's be honest. Oh, if you put a one or a two at the end? Of that sentence that you just said. So if you say, I love Twisted Messes, I want the Pro Series 1. Could be one, could be oh, two. could be two. Choose the right if one. Put two. Two oh. might be a better chance, one might be a worse chance. You don't even know! You have no way of knowing with Kent. That's just the way it is. He really likes ones and twos. I think that's it. I think we're done. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> that was about to be really loud. Yeah, man, I'm gonna stop breaking stuff. Kent in your is uh, he, he's like a he's like a hurricane. He just blows in here and blows. <laughs> ah, hey, I'm just kidding. I'm I'm really excited that Kent was here today uh, in the vlog to be a part of this with all of us. And uh, is there anything else you want to say? Uh, to my YouTube subscribers, like, yeah, you know, I just want to say I, open mic for Kent right yeah, now. Yeah, thanks for all of the support in the videos. You got me out of that back seat. It's been really nice in the front. Yeah. I'll be honest with you. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, well, we we like Kent over here on the Grim Green YouTube. We like Twisted Messes, and uh, I don't know. I can't really think of a way to end that. Anyway. I'm going to end this vlog. It's been great. Thank you, Kent, for uh, dealing with all of this uh, video shooting nonsense. No and uh, I'm sure, I mean, I appreciate it. I'm sure my subscribers appreciate it as well. But the next stop for us is ECC. So as you're watching this video on Thursday, me and him are gone. We're driving up to ECC. We're going to be there all weekend. I'm going to be shooting a bunch more video at ECC. So... I guess that's it. I guess we're done. Uh, thank you so much for watching, everybody. I'll have links for everything that we talked about down in the description of this video. And yeah, thanks, Kent. That's what I got. And uh, yeah, let's just uh, let's keep on vaping. This is great content. Just keep it rolling. <laughs> just keep this rolling, dude. Just let it go? Yeah, I mean, just stay in character, you know? What do you mean, stay in character? I mean, these fake personalities we're doing right now. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's it. When the camera turns off, we just turn into completely different people. Yeah, very placid, very, not exciting. Not very boring. Yeah, monotone even, voices. Yeah, monotone this voices. This is our only <laughs> release. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, that's fine. We can leave the camera rolling. Thank God you made this vlog, or I might have just, you know, might have ended a, a long time ago. What? What might have ended a long time ago? The what? vlog? No, oh, our lives. Why? Because it sucked so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I I literally have no idea what Ken's talking about. But hey, you were you're the one that wanted to keep the camera rolling. Yeah, so exactly. We're keeping the camera rolling. Yeah, and you're just digging that ditch deeper and deeper the longer you let yeah. me talk on here. Yeah. You know, I am. Every, all your secrets are going to be revealed soon. I mean, nothing what? left. You have no secrets. You have no secrets on me. What? You got nothing on me. I just talked about how you have this <laughs> persona that you. Oh, my fake personality. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My fake personality. Everybody knows. And then when you meet me at a vape event, I'm like, hey. No, you're nice in character. You. Of course you're in character. Oh, you're at when a vape I, event. When am I not in character? In the grocery store, in the restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Kent's digging into some real deep uh, things here. Yeah. 
are we always all in character? Yeah, do absolutely. we ever act? Are we ever ourselves in front of other people, man? Shoot, I am. I mean, right now, yeah. I'm being myself completely. This is the way Kent acts all the time. Hi. No, this is hello. Not- my name is Kent. <laughs> It's great to meet you. A pleasure, in fact. <laughs> All right, I gotta stop this. <laughs> That's gonna be one hell of an Easter egg at the end of this video. Yeah. <laughs>